Area high school basketball is on the air. Every week, KJFM, WBBA Sports brings you the best of area sports on air at 102.1 and 97.5. Online at KJFM, WBBA.com and on the app. Now to the court for high school basketball on your area sports leader. KJFM and WBBA. Good evening and welcome to night number three of the 2024 Clompton Invitational Tournament here on KJFM and WBBA Sports. Back in the uh, middle school gym, consolation semifinals for the guys tonight. Two great games on the schedule. We'll start it with the uh, four seed Louisiana taking on the eight seed uh, Mark Twain. And then we'll finish off our night with the number seven seed Silex against the number six seed Ellsbury. So a chance for uh, all four of these teams to get back into the Dale Miller Gymnasium and uh, into championship afternoon on Saturday here at the uh, Clopton Invitational. Mark Fronick, Stacey Martin here in the middle school gym, your first taste of, uh, of uh, the old gym here at Clopton. And uh, uh, these kind of barns kind of bring you back, and that's kind of what it is, a, a barn or a hangar here at, at Clopton. A great atmosphere for high school basketball. Well, that, that's what it definitely reminds me of. For any of you people, I don't know what we're talking about. Everyone's seen those red barns along the side of the highway. That's what the inside of it reminds me of. It's got the real tall, high, round ceilings, and we're definitely compacted in here. Yes, we are, and it, it kind of plays a factor. Uh, uh, this this uh, quaint uh, uh, venue does. Uh, the walls kind of close in on you, uh, especially on uh, on the ends. You kind of lose yourself across the way where the, the sidelines are. Uh, we've seen it uh, time and again in, in this tournament. Uh, uh, you take a step, you're out of bounds. So uh, it, it's just one of those things uh, that you don't experience on a day-to-day -day basis with uh, all the new gyms that we have around the area. Well, what I just noticed is I look over the table here. We can't even see the sideline on the scores table. Exactly. I mean, that, that's kind of give you an idea how tight we are. But we are right that on just top means we're going to be we're going to be closer to the action. It's going to be two great games tonight, and it's just going to be fun to fun to bring you guys the, the excitement. Exactly. We've got Mark Twain in Louisiana, our first of two here from the uh, middle school gym. they got two games in the high school gym as well. We'll tell you about that and more when we start the pregame show for you next here on KJFM WBBA Sports. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by Jay Roberts Jewelry, Pike County Title Company, and Gambino's Eatery. Your car, your stuff, your savings. Combine your auto and renter's insurance with a call to State Farm Insurance agent Cindy Blaylock in Louisiana and let Cindy show you how to put life back in your life insurance. Auto, home, and life. Make your wallet happy. Here to help life go right, State Farm Insurance agent Cindy Blaylock in Louisiana. It's a great time to buy or sell a home. I'm Vicki Cadwalder, and I take pride in offering skills that make the process go smoothly from beginning to end. Even after closing, I enjoy staying in touch and being there to help you if you have any other needs or questions. Call me, and we'll create a personalized plan just for you. Vicki Cadwalder Real Estate, loving our small town life. Cellular and Satellite Center is the only stop you need to make when it comes to satellite providers, offering direct TV and dish network along with antenna installs. Now, a special message from Matthew Niemeyer himself. If you call an 800 number and they say we will be the local installer, they are wrong. Contact Matthew at Sailor and Satellite Center in Bowling Green, your local authorized dealer. Community State Bank of Missouri in Bowling Green and Troy, where the number one priority is the customer and adding new services to help simplify your life and building a strong, high-performance financial services organization. Community State Bank in Bowling Green and Troy, your community bank since 1887, member FDIC. CMC Distributing in Louisiana is the place to turn for steel, culverts, industrial supplies, and central welding supplies. In addition, CMC Distributing offers trailer parts, truck accessories, truck beds, and trailer repairs. At CMC Distributing, they always go the extra mile while working hard to make sure you're satisfied. They do it that way for a simple reason. They appreciate your business. CMC Distributing, Highway 54, west of Louisiana. Area High School Sports on Eagle 102. Brought to you by Cellular and Satellite Center, Pike County Memorial Hospital, and Community State Bank of Missouri. It's time now for the Eagle 102 pregame show, sponsored by Bowling Green Pharmacy. 
consolation semifinals of the Clopton Invitational. Mark Ronick, Stacey Martin here in the middle school gym. We've got uh, Mark Twain, Louisiana, then Silex Ellsbury. How did we get here? Well, uh, Clopton took care of Mark Twain, a 40-point victory over the Tigers in the opening round. 66-26 was the final on that one, and that's kind of indicative of where Mark Twain is, kind of in, in a the first stages of a rebuild for uh, this season. And then uh, Louisiana, they fell to Wright City 40-38, to and hmm. that's kind of a surprise. Uh, that was a game that I thought was very winnable for Louisiana. In fact, they led most of the game and just fell off at the end. And, and I think uh, uh, just looking at the starting lineup, which we'll get to in a little bit, Coach Matt Smith is trying to shake things up with his starting five tonight. And we're going to see a different look than I'm used to, at least, for uh, Louisiana. And, and those kind of things happen after you drop a game you probably shouldn't. Yeah, uh, every coach can attest to that. Things don't go your certain way. So you're like, you know what? Let's, we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna make sure it kind of goes my way, per se. I mean, that's yeah. what he's thinking. I know he can't control the future, but that's kind of what he's thinking. And uh, this is a, a team, Louisiana, uh, that uh, kind of does need a spark. Uh, we we saw him uh, against North Point at the uh, People's Bank and Trust shootout. That was a messy game. What they have uh, 31 turnovers. 30, yeah, me and Jim Ross did the game. They had 31 turnovers, and uh, it was very much the same story. Uh, against uh, Wright City in the opening round. So they've got to clean things up a bit and uh, a shakeup I, I think will we'll maybe do the trick and, and, and adjusting those roles a little bit. Maybe uh, the, the players for Louisiana will be a little bit more uh, cautious of what they're doing with the uh, basketball. So that's an overview of this one. We'll check our keys to the game for you. So we're about seven minutes away from tip-off from the Clopton Invitational here on KJFM WBBA Sports. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by Lynn's Heritage House, Bill Allen Auction Services, and Knight Equipment Company. Since 1939, Meyer Implement Company has been serving the local agricultural and business communities with quality sales and service. Meyer Implement has also taken great pride in supporting those communities and would like to wish the area sports teams the best of luck throughout their seasons. Be sure to stop by and visit the people who truly appreciate your business. Meyer Implement Company in Bowling Green. Think about all that's important to you, your family, your possessions, and your future. Pick up the phone and call Rick Rodhouse from Country Financial. He, along with his staff, will assist you with insurance coverage to protect what matters most in addition to preparing you for the future. Best of all, Rick will take the time to get to know you and find solutions for your budget. For coverage you need at a price you can afford, contact Rick Rodhouse Insurance Agency in Pleasant Hill to chat about your insurance needs today. Get the best deals of the year during New Holland's Value Bonanza. Going on now at Bowling Green Tractor. Put 0% financing for 72 months in your pocket or choose a freeloader on Workmaster subcompact and compact tractors and Boomer compact tractors. Reliable, powerful, and easy to run. They help you tackle chores without breaking the bank. Work smarter with year-end Value Bonanza savings at Bowling Green Tractor. Stop in today. Offers end December 31st. For commercial use only, customer participation subject to credit qualifications and CNH Industrial Capital America LLC approval. Standard terms, conditions, and other restrictions apply. Down payment may be required. Ingram Plumbing has always been known for its outstanding plumbing service. But did you know that Ingram's is also the largest retail plumbing supply store in the area? We carry Delta faucets, a complete line of Whirlpool tubs and showers, jacuzzi pumps, and many other specialty items. Stop by Ingram Plumbing today, Highway 61 Bowling Green. At Pike County Memorial Hospital, we know how important athletics are for your kids. But with an active lifestyle of sports comes health risks and safety hazards. As a certified athletic trainer, at PCMH, I work closely with our primary care physicians, orthopedic doctors, and physical therapists. We can make a difference between safe play and dangerous injuries for your athletes. Working with Bowling Green Clopton and the Louisiana schools, our goal is to provide the best possible outcome for your athletes. I'm Eric Schaefer, certified athletic trainer at Pike County Memorial Hospital. I'm at work while your athletes are at play. Follow area high school sports on KJFM Radio. Brought to you by Browns Processing and Smokehouse Meats. Young Enterprises and Family Drug. The Eagle 102 Keys to the Game. 
Getting ready for Mark Twain and Louisiana and Stason. Uh, it's going to sound pretty elementary, but whoever takes care of the basketball the best in this game is going to win. Yeah, I agree. Uh, it may sound elementary, but it's, it's just the facts. If you're going to keep turning the ball over, if you can't handle the ball, it's going to be a long night for you, for either team for that matter. Yeah, I think the magic number is hold it under 12 turnovers per half. Whatever team can do that is going to come out on top. And uh, we may have neither team do it, and then uh, it'll be whoever has the ball at last will we'll well, get the victory. Getting, just getting ready to say for you guys who are doing the math, that's 24, the, 24 for the game, which is still a lot. Yeah. But for anyone that's been following these two teams, turnovers are the demon inside mm -hmm. them. So I agree. That's a pretty good mark. If you can keep it 12 for the half or under, you're going to put yourself in position to win this game and be able to move on. Louisiana wearing uh, the, the gray third jerseys uh, tonight, uh, third uniform. So we'll see if that's a good luck charm for them in this consolation semifinal. Both these teams want to come back on Saturday. If there is a Saturday, there's snow in the forecast. You never know. I'll uh, be here or be square. <laughs> exactly. But uh, they want to move on. They don't want to go home after two. Those are our keys to the game. We've got starting lineups coming up next on KJFM WBBA Sports. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by Service and Supply Co-op in Bowling Green and Vandalia. Mick Mailer and Sons, Backhoe and Excavating, and Pepsi. Lynn's Heritage House isn't your average senior living facility. At Lynn's, residents have an abundance of social and recreational activities, including trips to the Twin Pike Family YMCA, numerous craft projects, and even the occasional day trip around Pike County. As a resident, you can enjoy the same independent lifestyle you've always enjoyed, but with the peace of mind knowing that help is available when needed. For more information, visit Lynn's Heritage House, 800 Kelly Lane in Louisiana, or online at lensheritage.com. Hi, this is Shelly Clucky with Pike County Mutual Insurance Company. We appreciate the value of working hard and making sure you've taken steps to make sure you're prepared for whatever comes your direction. Best wishes to all of our area athletes for another amazing season from myself and Corey Buchanan at Pike County Mutual Insurance Company on the square. High school Park. sports on your area sports leader, Eagle 102. Brought to you by Bowling Green Tractor, Vicki Cadwalder, Real Estate, and Ingram Plumbing. The Eagle 102 starting lineups on KJFM are brought to you by Community State Bank in Bowling Green and Troy start the lineups. I think they're getting ready for the national anthem, but for Louisiana, freshman guard number 10, Javon Reese gets the start, a senior guard number 14, Alex DeZira, a senior forward number 15, Wyatt Martin gets the start, a sophomore guard number 24, Quincy Mooney, and a sophomore forward number 30, Landon Brown gets the start. For Mark Twain, it's a senior number 10, Aiden Dye, number 13, a junior Jack Dotson, number 15, a junior Coden Miller gets the start. A sophomore, number 24, Quinn Eckler, and number 25, a junior, Sam Northcutt, the last in the starters for these both uh, two teams. The opening tip is coming up in just minutes here from the Clopton Tournament on KJFM and WBBA Sports. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by Ackles Farm Market, Lacrosse Lumber, and Meyer Implement Company. Raffle tickets are on sale now. This is Tracy Brookshire with Pike County Health Department Home Health and Hospice. Our Home Care and Hospice Foundation is selling raffle tickets. Enter for your chance to win $1,200 in local restaurant gift cards, a Smith & Wesson 9mm, a beautiful patio set, or a Henry 22 pump action. $5 for one ticket or $20 for five tickets. Get yours online at pikecountyhospice.com or by stopping in at our office at One Healthcare Place in Bowling Green behind Walmart. Winner will be drawn at our annual Valentine Gala fundraiser in February and does not need to be present to win. Hey Bowling Green Bobcats, support your local school with the People's Bank and Trust Bobcat debit card. For every purchase you make using the card, People's Bank will make a donation to the Bowling Green School District. Stop by any People's Bank and Trust location to get your Bobcat debit card and start supporting your school while you shop. People's Bank and Trust, hometown banking the way it should be. Member FDIC. With 14 stores across Missouri and Illinois, La Crosse Lumber Company provides lumber, quality products, and service to homeowners, builders, DIYers, and more. With some of the top brand names in the business available, La Crosse Lumber has what you need for your next project. Stop into any location for a free estimate before you start your next build. La Crosse Lumber Company, the oldest, most reliable lumber and hardware company in the Midwest since 1873. From the classic cheesesteak and rich crab cakes, a taste of Philly in Bowling Green is a fan favorite. 
a meal ready for you before or after the game, and game day jerseys are welcome. Open seven days a week. A taste of Philly. Business Highway 54 West in Bowling Green. The most complete coverage of high school sports is on Eagle 102, and it's brought to you by Mid-America Auto and Towing, Perkins Electrical Services, and Pike County Mutual Insurance. Hear all the action from the Eagle 102 broadcast booth, sponsored by Family Drug in Louisiana. Eight minutes on the clock. Louisiana has been introduced. The Tigers being introduced right now. We're set for basketball. Men's consolation semis here from the Clopton Invitational. Mark Frontick, Stacey Martin here in the old gym. We've got uh, Jim and Ryan Camps in the Dale Miller Gymnasium for Clopton Wright City and uh, Monroe City and Winfield. Those are our on-air games. And he's the... Uh, Online games, Mark Twain, Louisiana, Silex, and Ellsbury set to do battle in the late game. It'll be uh, Sam Northcott jumping center against Wyatt Martin. Martin, a slight size advantage, similar haircuts for both. <laughs> hey, it's almost like a mirror. The referee comes in from the far side. Ball goes up, and it's won back by Louisiana. A little second swipe at it. We almost had a redo. With the ball is Quincy Mooney over to the far side. Dribble out for Landon Brown. Hand it back behind him for Wyatt Martin to the near side. For Alex DeZira to Mooney in the near corner. He dribbles out. Quincy Mooney to the far side for Landon Brown. Into the corner, now back up top. Mooney, lob pass over to the far side. Here's the three, that one's short. Offensive rebound, put back is a little high off the backboard. Reese is stripped of the ball. Now it goes to the floor and a jump ball called and the arrow will favor Mark Twain. So nothing on the first possession, but a few good opportunities for the Bulldogs. And up the floor with it is Quinn Eckler. Eckler comes to the near side. Now back up top for Aiden Dye. Dye works down to the baseline. Feeds it in the middle, shot off the glass, and good. Sam Northcutt with the first points of this ball game. That was a good ball movement right there. So Northcutt gets Mark Twain on the board. And with it on the top is Quincy Mooney. Reversing is DeZira, and he goes to the floor. We've got our first foul of the ball game. It's going to be Kington's first. And it goes on Miller. Oh, well, that was not his first. Lobs it back to DeZira over to the far side. Reese. Gets it back to Martin. Scoop shot off the glass is no good and tipped around and out of bounds back to Mark Twain. Tigers with a 2-0 lead. Minute and a half into the ball game. Three north, north cut to the far side for Jack Dotson. Now back up top for Quinn Eckler. Eckler hands it off for North Cut. Over to the far side for Die. Die to the free throw line. Gave up his dribble. Now gives the ball back and out of bounds. Out of the reach of Jack Dotson. And back to Louisiana. First turnover for the Tigers. And that one tipped and taken away. Back the other way. Easy two off the glass for Quinn Eckler. And it's 4 0. Those the. Uh, the things that Louisiana has to stay away from. And there it is again. Ball goes to the floor, and we're going to have a foul at the half-court line called against Landon Brown. 5.45 to play in the first. So not the start Louisiana was looking for. No, this goes right back into what we were talking about during the pregame is just taking care of the ball. Three was no good, turned into a pass off the rim to Northcutt. He converts in a timeout taken by Louisiana with 5.32 to go. Six-nothing lead for the Mark Twain Tigers here in the semifinals 
of the Clapton Invitational on KJFM WBBA Sports. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by All Parts, Eagles Nest Inn, Bed and Breakfast, and Sun Window Company. Royal Banks is your community bank with locations throughout St. Louis, St. Charles, Northeast Missouri, Granite City, and Jerseyville, Illinois. A Royal Bank branch is not far away. Royal Banks bring experienced staff and products and services designed to meet your professional and personal financial needs. Investing in our communities one client at a time. Call 314-212-1500 today. Royal Banks of Missouri, member FDIC and equal opportunity lender. Area High School Sports on Eagle 102. Brought to you by Rod Prentice and Brenda Crawford, State Farm Agents. Pepsi and Ackles Farm Market. After the timeout, Louisiana has it stolen away again and another two for Sam Northcutt. Eight nothing already for Mark Twain. Back the other way, here's Martin off the glass and that finally gets Louisiana on the board. Wyatt Martin with two. And a travel, yeah. As Aiden Dye lost his balance and gives it back to Louisiana with three minutes gone in the first, tipped up and taken on the far side. Tipped by Miller, taken by Eckler, feed it back in to the free throw line for Northcutt and it's taken them back by Louisiana. As that one scraped the rim and we're gonna have a foul on Miller, that's his second. Well, that's four turnovers already for Louisiana, so they are above pace for our magic number. And what, two for uh, Mark Twain? Down to 4.45 to play, six point ball game. Mark Twain leads, here's Martin. Over to Reese. Kick back, here's Martin for three, top of the key, long. Tip up rebound taken by Northcutt. Long pass ahead, ball fake, kick back, here's another three. That went off the mark as Dotson missed. Offensive rebound, that shot no good and finally Martin takes it back. He'll slow down. Take it past Northcutt and give it off for Landon Brown. Brown hands it back to Wyatt Martin to the far side for Jalen Reese. Back to Martin again. Has Reese flanking him on the far side. He'll take the three, that one's long. And the rebound picked up by Landon Armour. Well, it's no surprise that Louisiana wants to slow the ball down and Mark Twain is wanting to go fast as they just score fast right there for Aiden Dye. Oh, we're gonna have a foul against Sam Northcutt. Our travel called, okay. Traveled before the contact, gives it back. Another turnover against the Bulldogs. And Mark Twain will set up. With it is Die. Free throw line turns. Nothing there. Kick back. To Die again. Bounce pass out high for Landon Armour. Center of the lane. Kick out. Here's the three. That one short. Rebound goes almost to the floor, kind of got wedged between two shins, but taken back by Mark Twain. They don't just don't give up. And an easy bucket on the end of it for Sam Northcutt. He's got eight. The lead is 10. I definitely love Mark Twain's effort tonight. Like you said, they are fighting hard. Oh, good pass to Martin. Crosses, that shot off the glass is good. Landon Brown with two. Ends that run for the Tigers. And that one thrown. And they're gonna say it was partially blocked and into the ball game comes Cooper Lumley. He'll replace Javon Reese. 2.46 to go in the quarter. Inbound, off the glass, no good, and Brown the rebound. Hands it off for Wyatt Martin. Brown kicks it far side, Lumley. To the dribble for Landon Brown, gave it up. Up top now for Wyatt Martin. Martin to the far side for Cooper. Cooper to the corner for Reese. Back up top now for Martin. Martin 
Head to the free throw line to the near side for Brown. Brown has trouble on the dribble, and the pass is tipped and taken away. Leads into a fast break for Northcutt, and he puts it off the glass and in. Ten points now for Sam Northcutt, and it's 14 to four. Six minutes gone here in the first, goes off the foot of Reese, and another steal for Mark Twain. Free throw line, they'll set up. Here's Northcutt, kick back. Die for three is good. Aiden Die. 17 to four, minute 48 to go in the first. Mark Twain leads Louisiana from the Clopton Invitational on KJFM WBBA Sports. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by All Parts, Eagles Nest Inn, Bed and Breakfast, and Sun Window Company. It's time to visit Hayden's Motorsports Center in Frankfurt. Time to ride with Honda and Polaris ATVs, side-by-sides, and motorcycles. Time to work with steel and Husqvarna chainsaws, weed eaters, leaf blowers, and more. Hayden's Motorsports Center, just off Highway 61 North in Frankfurt. The best coverage of high school sports on KJFM brought to you by Community State Bank of Missouri, County Market in Louisiana, and Bowling Green Pharmacy. Over in the Dale Miller Gymnasium, Clopton just drained a three and lead Wright City nine to four. This one, not as close. Uh, well, Louisiana, just getting, they're just turning it over. I was just getting ready to say, I know we have a minute 48 left in the first quarter, but it seems like 17 to four happened so fast. It did. And that's just because Mark Twain is playing fast both offensively and defensively. Louisiana just can't breathe. And there's another steal. Shot no good, but this time Quinn Eckler's going to head to the free throw line. Just to tell you like how fast they're playing, that's Louisiana's ninth turnover already. They, I bet they probably haven't gotten the ball across the half court line maybe five or six times total in the first quarter. It hasn't been what Coach Matt Smith has drawn up for sure. And I think Mark Twain, just the hungrier team right now, missing both of them was Northcutt or Eckler rather, here's Reese. Jalen had it knocked away and it's gonna go out on the far side and stay with Louisiana. Good uh, decision there by Jalen Reese to let it go out of bounds and to get in, in the way of the Mark Twain player so he couldn't chase it. Mm -hmm. And Jalen will bring it across the line, the freshman. I mean, they're picking him up at half court. Look out. I mean. And out of bounds, almost another. Steal and Jalen's like, come on guys, help me out. I mean, as soon as they're crossing half court line, Mark Twain has somebody in their face playing that tight defense that Mark Twain has shown so far this quarter. Ooh, almost a double dribble. I don't think anyone was watching Reese, but now it's stolen anyway. Here's Eckler off the glass and in. It just has not let up one bit. Relentless are the Tigers. Yeah, got away with a big bump on the little guy that time. Did Aiden die, and he puts it off the glass and in. This is mesmerizing. Martin gets it back now for Zira. Over the far side for Jalen Reese. Reese. And so Louisiana needs to slow down, take a breath, and just try to make something you have three more quarters to go. Oh, and another steal. This one by Quinn Eckler. Eckler, no, but a foul is going to send him to the line to shoot. His second trip there tonight. 21-4. to four. All right, disregard the slowing it down because obviously they didn't listen. And Jalen saying, what can I do? I think. Trying to pass over them is not working right now. He's got to go with the bounce pass, or someone just needs to go behind him, and he'll come out of the ball game. I agree. I mean, everyone on Mark Twain seems to be a few inches taller and longer than anybody on the Louisiana right now. Missed the second. Offensive rebound. North cut. No. Partial block from behind. And out with it is Zira. Two Lumley. Cooper across the line. Takes it all the way to the basket, stripped, and they're gonna say he just lost it out of bounds. Eckler, across the line, double digit turnovers in the first quarter. We're down to five seconds. See if they get the shot off. Here it is from the corner, 
a little long, and no putback as Alex Zero gets the rebound. We played eight minutes, and it's eight minutes that Louisiana wants to forget. Mark Twain leads this one 22 to four. Consolation semifinal of the Clopton Invitational from KJFM and WBBA. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by All Parts, Eagles Nest Inn, Bed and Breakfast, and Sun Window Company. Bowling Green Veterinary Clinic knows that getting the best care for your pet is a top priority. They strive to provide the greatest quality medical and surgical care for our furry companions. Their newly expanded and remodeled facility with accommodations for comprehensive inpatient hospital care and complete outpatient care allows the friendly and knowledgeable staff at Bowling Green Veterinary Clinic to keep your pet healthy and safe so the whole family can cheer on our area teams. Brown's Processing and Smokehouse Meats is your first stop when stocking your freezer. Brown's has frozen chicken, steaks, brats, and burgers ready to go. For wholesale and custom butchering, Brown's is your first call. It's where quality meets service. Brown's Processing and Smokehouse Meats. For your meat processing, smokehouse meats, and homemade sausage. Just off Highway 61 in Silex. Area High School Sports on Eagle 102. Brought to you by People's Bank and Trust, State Farm Insurance, Cindy Blaylock Agent, and Bowling Green Pharmacy. So after a quarter, Mark Twain has three separate players with more points than Louisiana has as a team. Five points for Quinn Eckler, seven points for Aiden Dye, and ten points for Sam Northcutt. Louisiana, two points for Wyatt Martin, two for Landon Brown, and that is it. 22 to four after eight minutes. Louisiana with the ball to start the second quarter. They got Lumley out high now. Cooper, ball fake. Looking for a pick from the zero, and it wasn't there. Hands it off for Wyatt Martin. Martin to Lumley. He almost carried the ball. Gives it to Quincy Mooney, and we're going to have a foul. Or no, out of, out of bounds, or what do we have? Okay. It's, it's a foul. Foul on Aiden Dye. His he first. started pointing, and it was confusing me. Well, he was just pointing where the ball was going <laughs> to go out of play. Good reverse there for Lumley. Goes off the glass, and through traffic, it just wasn't there for him. Back the other way. Here comes Jack Dotson to Northcott. Scooper and score. He's got a dozen, and the lead is 20. And thrown away. Luckily for Louisiana, it was tipped, because that pass was nowhere close to a Bulldog player. Seven oh one to go in the first half. Lumley across the line with it. No room for the guards. And Louisiana just no size down low. Baseline to zero. Try to go across the lane to Reese. And that shot no good. And the rebound picked up by Northcutt. Long pass ahead. Uh, oh, big block, but they're going to say a foul uh, was committed by Cooper Lumley. It looked pretty good from here. I, I thought the same thing, Mark. I, I thought he got all ball, but we're wearing the headphones, not the stripes. So, I mean, you've worn them before. But I have, but <laughs> I've learned to keep my game. mouth shut. First shot good. First point of the night for Dotson to make it 25 to four. One more shot. He hit them both. And Mark Twain just dominating every facet of this game. Now another steal. Eckler. Oh, good pass. Oh yeah, what good a team pass. pass to Northcutt for the finish. 28 to four. Back the other way, Martin, reverse layup, no, but a foul going to be called. That's the second. No, it is the first on Sam Northcutt. Well, he did the old Euro step there, and I thought he was going to call a travel, but he didn't. Mm -hmm. So what I've learned in refs are yay or nay for not much gray area, and obviously he's yay for it. So 
Actually is the second foul on Northcutt and the shot goes down for Wyatt Martin, his first point of the second quarter, three in the game. Over in the other gym now a seven point Clopton lead. 21 at 14 over Wright City and he made them both. 28 to six. 6.07 to go in the half. And out of bounds, a turnover by the Tigers. It's only their second one. Gives Can't complain back. about that. No. They played uh, pretty much 10 minutes, and they have two turnovers. So they're definitely managing the ball and doing everything that the coach has asked them to do so far to yeah, give them this 28-6 to six lead with 6.03 to go in the second quarter. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, Mark Twain has had a 22-point lead in a couple of years. And to have one against Louisiana is pretty impressive. Far side, here's Javon Reese. Ball goes to the floor, picked up by Lumley. Kicks it across the lane, DeZira. His shot off the glass and in, Alex DeZira. Makes it 28-8. to eight. Tiger lead down to, down to 20 with five and a half to play. Here's Dotson with it. Setting your side for Die. Die goes to the corner for Sam Northcutt. Skips it all the way across to Quinn Eckler. Kick back all the way up top now for Die. Die, off balance shot, found it <laughs> way home. That'll work, I guess. He's got nine. Get past the near side, Cooper Lumley. Back up top, Martin for three. No. To the corner, saved right back to Martin though. Kicks it down and through the hands of the zero out of bounds. Like you said earlier, there's just nowhere for these Louisiana guards to go. Every time they catch it, there's two defenders right there on them already. Yep. And they're having trouble dealing with that pressure. Well, after watching just this quarter and a half, Hard to imagine why, why Mark Twain's one and nine. Reverse and is he gonna count the basket? I think it was before the basket. It's on the floor. And it goes uh, against Alex to zero. Just the second foul of the quarter against the Bulldogs. Turnaround shot off the inbound is short, I think. Javon Reese got a little bit of a piece of it going up. And that's what I, I, if Louisiana would do that stutter step and let Mark Twain run into him, you're gonna get him in foul trouble. Oh, then they're gonna lay off the pressure and you can do what you want. But exactly. until that happens, the pressure's not gonna stop. Yeah, I, and, and recognizing that, I didn't even pick it up until just now, because it almost worked for him. From the free throw line, Reese's shot's no good. And you got to follow your shot. Exactly. Dotson with the rebound. Hand off now for Eckler over to the far side for Die. Die turnaround shot. He's been taking some wicked angled shots here. He's getting a little confident with a 30 to 8 lead. <laughs> Baseline. Cut off. Kick back. Just waiting on it was Lumley. Free throw line gets it to Martin. Martin. Making some space, rimmed out, and Northcutt with the rebound for the Tigers. Gets it ahead now for Dotson, hands it off for Dye. Aiden Dye, no, but a foul going to be whistled against Quincy Mooney. 3.28 to go. Mooney's first, team's third in the quarter. Over in the other gym now, 25-14, an 11-point Clopton lead on Wright City. And the first shot's no good. So Dye still with nine points. One more will get him in double figures. And I assume that's gonna happen on this one. Second shot does go through. And it's 31 to eight. Out of bounds, it'll stay with Louisiana. With 3.26 to go into the ball game, back in is Landon Brown. He'll replace Javon Reese. Don't 
Turning and dribbling. Off the floor is Mooney. Puts on the brakes. Strip from behind. And taken away by Mark Twain. Big block. Now stuck underneath the basket. They get it to Northcott, and that rattles home. They, I mean, even when they get bad, bad situations, they're still coming out smelling like roses. It, Here's to zero. Ooh. Nice little move there. Yeah. Nice little move. That took some uh, maneuvering. Yeah. 33 to 10. Miss and a steal by Landon Brown. One of the few mistakes we've seen from Mark Twain so far today. Lumley gets it back to Martin. Center of the lane, that shot, ooh, got away with some contact there, did. Even though it was blocked, it was still a good job by Martin by finding that seam. And Just a time, timeout oh. taken. We'll get back to that point after the break. 2.31 to play in the half. It's Mark Twain, 33, Louisiana, 10. This is the Clopton to Tournament on KJFM, WBBA Sports. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by Castile's Color Wheel, Pike Lincoln Technical Center, and Kearns Construction. Noah Builders in Silex, a proud supporter of all area athletes, is a small locally owned contractor with over 25 years of experience in custom and new home construction. Noah Builders wants to take your forever home plan and make it a reality. Call or visit noahbuilders.com. Follow area high school sports throughout the season on Eagle 102. Brought to you by Veolia Landscape Supply, Royal Banks, and a taste of filling. Hear all the action from the Eagle 102 broadcast booth. Sponsored by Family Drug in Louisiana. It'll be Quincy Mooney to inbound, and it's tipped and taken away. And then we've got a foul. Going to be called on Cooper Lumley, his second. On a push. 33-10, to 10, Mark Twain leading. Mark Twain 1-9, Louisiana 2-9. I didn't expect a 23-point lead for any team. No at this point in the game. Up top with it is Northcott to the far side for Miller. Miller gonna drive, scoops it and scores. His first two of the night, and it's 35 to 10. Martin gets it to Lumley. Not much there for him. Bounce pass to Landon Brown. Brown back to Lumley, now to Martin. Martin kicks it to the corner. Here's the three for Mooney. Rims out, tipped rebound. Martin off the glass too hard. Tips it to himself again and they'll reset. Lumley back up top to the corner now. Center of the lane for Lumley. Shot, no good. And almost to zero. Almost got that rebound. His arm just wasn't long enough to curl it back to himself. And another foul. That's going to be a Landon Brown, his second. So he's got two. It should Lumley's be got two. He should be shooting, I believe. Yeah, they're going to throw it down to the other end. Because that was going to be Louisiana's fifth. Mark Twain only has two for the quarter. Minute 31 to go. So the rest of the way, the Tigers will be shooting free throws. As I'm sure everyone's aware of the new rule that came into effect this year. And off the back iron and out on the first one. And uh, Northcott misses his first attempt from the line. He's got 16 points. Next one is no good and Cooper with the rebound. Well, you'd have 20 if you'd make all of his free throws right? tonight. Martin to the near side for Brown. Lumley back to Brown again, ball fake. Gives it back to Cooper. Now for Wyatt Martin. Kick back. Mooney with it. In Louisiana trouble. really needs someone to cut behind them because everyone's scooting way up. Look at that. Mm -hmm. You see someone to cut the baseline. Because Mark Twain's starting to climb so far up towards the top of the key that the basket's unguarded. Minute two to go. Into the ball game, Landon Armour. Want to put him in motion. Say to your side, Northcutt. Gives it to Miller. Back to Northcutt. He puts it off the glass for two more. Martin, 37 to 10. Mark Twain leads. Here's a three. Short. And Northcutt another rebound. 
Up the floor in transition, and we've got another foul. Oh, no, call it travel. Oh, are they? Travel out of the way. The referee to your far side called to travel. And up the floor with it with 25 seconds to go is Wyatt Martin. Martin to the far side for Mooney. Back to Martin. Feeds it to Lumley at the free throw line. Kick to the far side. Scoops back. Here's the three from the corner. Long. And the rebound swiped right to Aiden Dye. Down to five seconds. No time to waste. Down to two. Here's the three from the corner. No. Buzzer sounds. We played two. Mark Twain all over Louisiana. 37 to 10 as we head to the KJFM WBBA halftime report after this from Eagle Sports. The Eagle 102 halftime report is coming up. Sponsored by Cellular and Satellite Center. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by West End Cabins and Storage, Central State Bank of Illinois, and Missouri State Representative Chad Perkins. Wrap up your holiday hustle and bustle at Gambino's in Louisiana. Dine in and have your gift wrapping taken care of while enjoying a mouth-watering dinner. Or reserve an exclusive s'mores station. Limited spots available, so call now to reserve a cozy Christmas-themed s'mores station where you can gather around, roast marshmallows indoors, and create gooey, delicious s'mores. Check out Gambino's Eatery Facebook page for specials and events. Call Gambino's today and make this holiday season extra sweet. The Eagles Nest Inn Bed and Breakfast, downtown Louisiana, is under new ownership. It's been updated and offers its own unique charm. It's the perfect place to stay while visiting the area during festivals, homecoming, and holidays. Call or book online at theeaglesnestinbb.com. Welcome to Vast National Bank. How can I help you? Hey, I'm here to talk to someone about a loan. Oh, I'll grab you the L97B. We call it the Just Talking Form. What about actually applying for a loan? Oh my, let me pop in the toner cartridge. Hey Bill, you wanna pass me the big stapler? Yeah, I'm just gonna go to People's Savings Bank. Skip the mega banks. When you need a loan, visit People's Savings Bank. The people you know and trust. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. The area's best coverage of high school sports on Eagle 102 brought to you by Pike County Health Department, People's Savings Bank, and All Parts. It's now time for the Eagle 102 Halftime Report, sponsored by Cellular and Satellite Center. Two quarters in the books, and Stace and Martin, we were not expecting uh, the script that played out uh, in front of us uh, for the, the first two quarters of this game. Mark Twain just everywhere. There is not a, a square inch of this court that they didn't dominate Louisiana in. Oh, I would have lost a lot of money on this game if I would have told you it was 27 points at half. I didn't see – I mean, I'm not trying to be negative towards Mark Twain. I didn't see Mark Twain coming out and having this ability. Um, but like you said, their defense is something to be um, reckoned with. Yeah. They are all over the place. I mean, they're. I guess the phrase I always, I always say is, uh, they're like stink on poop. Yeah, yeah. You know, they are just everywhere. Uh, and kudos to them for sticking to the game plan, doing what they can, and executing it. And Louisiana needs just needs to slow it down. I know they're chasing 27. They need to slow it down, take care of the ball, and don't run as fast as Mark Twain's doing because they're fast on defense. They're fast on offense. They're just. Like everywhere. you said, everywhere. We, we can't say it enough. And I just saw uh, last year's Louisiana starting five walk out of the gym here at halftime. And, uh, boy, I, I'm sure all, all five of them wish they could be helping out this team uh, after two quarters. Because uh, 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 right now it's uh, it's tough. It's tough for the Bulldogs. They, well, they just uh, are getting run out of this gym. Well, I'm 35, and I want some shoes. I'll go out there and I'll play. Uh, I don't. I don't want any part of it. <laughs> I, I'll sit up here and talk about it, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's tough, and and I'm sure those guys, uh, uh, it, it tough for them to watch as well. 37 to 10 after two. We'll take a break. Come back with uh, first half scoring and a look at uh, the two late games tonight and ladies championship night, which is set for tomorrow here at the Clopton Invitational from KJFM and WBBA Sports. 
Game of the Week coverage brought to you by Bib Veach and Collier Funeral Homes, Edward Jones Financial Advisor Kayla Caldwell, and Silex Banking Company. You simply can't buy a better replacement window than one from Sun Window Company. Energy efficient windows and doors with a lifetime warranty on both the window and installation. Sun Window Company, family owned and operated since 1989, offers low factory direct prices on high quality vinyl windows. Custom designed to fit perfectly and built to last. See how much you can save. Call Sun Windows, 573-549-2080 for details and a free estimate. Sun Window Company, Highway 161 in Middletown. Greatness doesn't happen overnight. It takes time, focus, and dedication. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that because we put in the hard work and dedication for decades. And that commitment has paid off with award-winning customer service for your auto, home, and life insurance. Ask me, Ashley Jenkins, about Shelter's auto, home, and life options. Geared Up, just off the square in Pittsfield, is your first stop for screen printing and embroidery. The folks at Geared Up take pride in making their communities and schools look great while offering the best prices around. If you're looking to expand your wardrobe or maybe a gift is on the list, stop by their store and check out numerous items in stock. When you're looking for custom apparel and awards for your business, organization, or team, stop by Geared Up, 211 South Madison in Pittsfield. State Farm in Pittsfield understands that life can be tough. The State Farm staff is there to help you make smart decisions when it comes to all your insurance and financial service needs. Call, email, text, or stop by the office Monday through Friday between 9 to 5 to talk to an agent. State Farm in Pittsfield, a family-oriented office, is located at 311 Half West Washington Street in Pittsfield, serving Pike County, Illinois, and the surrounding areas. Area High School Sports on Eagle 102, brought to you by Rick Rodhouse, Country Financial Agent, NOAA Builders, and Central State Bank of Illinois. Halftime uh, report continues here from the Consolation Semifinals. All uh, Mark Twain so far, they lead uh, Louisiana after two, 37 to 10. And uh, very surprising, uh, our game through two quarters here in the uh, middle school gym. So. If things don't change, it's going to be uh, Mark Twain uh, in that consolation game, which will take place at 2.30, or excuse me, 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon against either Silex or Ellsbury. Uh, the third place game for the boys will be uh, at 2.30 on Saturday, the championship at 4 o'clock. So an afternoon schedule for a boys championship night, but those games aren't set yet. Uh, over in the other gym, it's... Uh, Clopton leading the number one seed, uh, Clopton leading Wright City. Uh, up by uh, double digits at the half in that ball game. They'll take on either uh, Monroe City or Winfield. That's the late game over there. Girls bracket is set. Ladies championship uh, night is tomorrow night uh, starting at 5 o'clock. 4.45 pregame before Louisiana takes on Winfield for consolation. The third place game, surprisingly, Ellsbury taking on Silex. That's a 6.30 start. And then Monroe City will take on the uh, host of this tournament, the Clopton Hawks, uh, one against three for the championship. And that's uh, scheduled for an 8 o'clock start here tomorrow. So that's a look at the brackets. Uh, we'll throw them up on the screen here as we go along and uh, check the first half scoring while you read those. Uh, for Louisiana, Two points for Landon Brown, four points for Wyatt Martin, four points for Alex DeZira, and that's it. Ten points through uh, two quarters. For Mark Twain, they spread it out. Two points for Jack Donaldson, uh, two points for Coden Miller, five points for Quinn Eckler, and then uh, ten points for Aiden Dye, 18 points for Sam Northcutt. He's the game's leading scorer. 37 to 10. Mark Twain have been everywhere uh, against this uh, Louisiana team through two quarters. 37 to 10, our score. Back with the second half after this. This has been the halftime report on K, uh, K, KJFM and WBBA Sports. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by Jay Roberts Jewelry, Pike County Title Company, and Gambino's Eatery. Your car, your stuff, your savings. 
combine your auto and renter's insurance with a call to State Farm Insurance agent Cindy Blaylock in Louisiana and let Cindy show you how to put life back in your life insurance. Auto, home, and life. Make your wallet happy. Here to help life go right, State Farm Insurance agent Cindy Blaylock in Louisiana. It's a great time to buy or sell a home. I'm Vicki Cadwalder, and I take pride in offering skills that make the process go smoothly from beginning to end. Even after closing, I enjoy staying in touch and being there to help you if you have any other needs or questions. Call me, and we'll create a personalized plan just for you. Vicki Cadwalder Real Estate, loving our small town life. Community State Bank of Missouri in Bowling Green and Troy, where the number one priority is the customer and adding new services to help simplify your life and building a strong, high-performance financial services organization. Community State Bank in Bowling Green and Troy, your community bank since 1887, member FDIC. Area High School Sports on Eagle 102, brought to you by Cellular and Satellite Center, Pike County Memorial Hospital, and Community State Bank of Missouri. Ready for the second half here from the middle school gym. Mark Twain, they have to protect the lead now. They have the ball to start the second half. They're up by 27. I didn't realize how colorful colorful some of these guys' shoes are. Oh my goodness. It has been a shoe sensation here tournament week. Miss off the Opening possession and the ball still loose, picked back up by Mark Twain. They are just ball hawks tonight. They smell it. There hasn't been one possession where Mark Twain's at least tipped the ball once, if not twice. Yeah. I think they've gotten at least one offensive rebound every time they've missed a shot. Kick out. Here's a three. That's short. And the rebound this time pulled down by Landon Brown for Louisiana. He puts on the brakes, hands it off for Wyatt Martin. In the backcourt, he crosses the time stripe. To Javon Reese. 50 seconds gone here in the third quarter, and that shot no good. Put back, no, but a foul will send Wyatt Martin to the line to try and find his fifth Might and sixth point. No, that's going to be on Coden Miller, his third. Yeah, that timeout. And uh, they do grant the timeout before the free throws come. 7.04 to go in the third. 37-10. Mark Twain leads Louisiana from the Clopton Tournament on KJFM WBBA Sports. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by Lynn's Heritage House, Bill Allen Auction Services, and Knight Equipment Company. CMC Distributing in Louisiana is the place to turn for steel, culverts, industrial supplies, and central welding supplies. In addition, CMC Distributing offers trailer parts, truck accessories, truck beds, and trailer repairs. At CMC Distributing, they always go the extra mile while working hard to make sure you're satisfied. They do it that way for a simple reason. They appreciate your business. CMC Distributing, Highway 54, west of Louisiana. Since 1939, Meyer Implement Company has been serving the local agricultural and business communities with quality sales and service. Meyer Implement has also taken great pride in supporting those communities and would like to wish the area sports teams the best of luck throughout their seasons. Be sure to stop by and visit the people who truly appreciate your business. Meyer Implement Company in Bowling Green. Follow area high school sports on KJFM Radio. Brought to you by Browns Processing and Smokehouse Meats, Young Enterprises, and Family Drug. Free throws after the timeout at the line is Wyatt Martin. Louisiana looking to crack the scoreboard first here in the second half, trailing by 27, and he puts the first one through. Five points now for Wyatt Martin. He's Louisiana's top scorer. Over in the other gym, it's now Clopton 31 and Wright City 18. As they're underway in the third quarter as well. Martin hit them both. Now Louisiana's picking up the pressure here to set the second half. Which and a steal. And it works. Maybe it's just that this direction, whatever team goes this direction, is going to be the pressure team. Here's a three from the top, and Ooh. it misses everything, goes out of bounds. Well, if Louisiana wants to get back in this game, they're going to have to do exactly what they did in the last possession. First turnovers, get good shots, just execute next time. Yeah. 
Yeah, they had a good look there. The shot was just short. Now a steal by Martin. Shot no good. He was looking for the foul, and it goes off his head out of bounds. Maybe you're on to something. That's two possessions in a yeah. row. Martin flexing a little bit with that leg after going down awkwardly. Ooh, bullet pass there. That was a Brett Favre type pass. And a steal. Here comes Louisiana. Mooney with the steal. Shot no good. Martin's put back is good. And it's 37-14. The Tigers into the offensive end as they broke the full court pressure this time. Jack Dotson out high with it, surveying the scene. And it's taken away again by Louisiana. It's zero to Martin, and we're going to have a foul. Whistled against Aiden Dye, I believe. And he'll check out. That's not the vocabulary I would use as he walked off the floor. <laughs> Here's Javon Reese. Gave up his dribble, now gives Way the ball to Martin, yeah. Over to the far side to Mooney. Tried to feed it inside to Martin, it's taken away. And one too many passes that time for Mark Twain. Something they didn't do in the first half, they just went to the net. And oh, now it's a zero. The end. Blocked from behind. It'll stay with Louisiana. Yeah, Northcutt tried to go behind the back or behind the back pass. Not sure what was going on there. Just unnecessary. Well, when you're up 37-14, you can do those things. And knocked away from behind. Going to have to pick up the pace, and it goes out of bounds. It stays with Louisiana. But there's, there's the hustle difference. Martin was almost out-hustled by Jack Dotson. And Martin had a 10, 12-feet advantage on yeah. him. Yeah. Almost another steal. He's got a motor, doesn't he, Jack Dotson? Good closing speed. Back to Javon Reese to the near side. Up top to Reese again, kick it near side. They work it down, feeds it. Martin got loose, rims out, put back is blocked, and it's off the head of zero out of bounds. I feel for Martin. That's like three or four shots he had that's literally 360 around the hoop and didn't go his way. Well, it's definitely the softer rim in this gym. And hey, that one right watch out, up here. Watch out. Oh, yeah, you got to be ready for that up on the, <laughs> on the stage. Yeah. We've got another timeout from Mark Twain. With 4.54 to go in the third, it's the Tigers leading the Louisiana Bulldogs 37-14 from the Clopton Invitational on KJFM WBBA Sports. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by Service and Supply Co-op in Bowling Green and Vandalia. Mick Mailer and Sons, Backhoe and Excavating, and Pepsi. Think about all that's important to you, your family, your possessions, and your future. Pick up the phone and call Rick Rodhouse from Country Financial. He, along with his staff, will assist you with insurance coverage to protect what matters most in addition to preparing you for the future. Best of all, Rick will take the time to get to know you and find solutions for your budget. For coverage you need at a price you can afford, contact Rick Rodhouse Insurance Agency in Pleasant Hill to chat about your insurance needs today. High School Sports on your area sports leader, Eagle 102. Brought to you by Bowling Green Tractor, Vicki Cadwalder, Real Estate, and Ingram Plumbing. Bulldogs with the ball. Here's Cooper Lumley. Scoops it back to Javon Reese. He puts it off the glass and scores. Javon nice little Reese. hang time there to get that shot off. Four and a half to go. 37-16 now. Cuts across. Shot off the glass is good. And that's the first two points of the second half for Mark Twain. It was a 6-0 run for Louisiana to start the half. And that's Armour's first points of the game. And it's going to stay here. out of bounds, yeah. Could have easily gone the other way. <laughs> the communication. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Die came to check in with me, and he missed the scores table about five feet. <laughs> yeah, that happens up here, too. Uh, off the inbound, an easy two 
for Wyatt Martin. He's starting to come alive here in the third. And now the ball taken away. Cooper Lumley with the steal. But I think that was the pressure out high that caused that turnover. Little give and go. Lumley at the free throw line. He's blocked and taken away. Get it ahead. Eckler to the hoop and in. Quinn Eckler has seven points. 41-18 with 3.35 to go in the third quarter. Free throw line. Back to Mooney to the near side for Brown. Back to Lumley. Kick out. Free throw line. Lumley scores. Hooper Lumley. First points of the night. Down to 315. 21 point. Mark Twain lead. Ball loose. Picked back up by Mark Twain. And a travel called on Jack Dotson. You know, Louisiana's done a good job of getting the ball in the seams, getting good looks. They just can't execute on the time on the few times they have the opportunity to do so. Here's Lumley trying to get it down to Martin on the baseline. It's taken away by Die. Die gonna try and go coast to coast. He's blocked by Javon Reese. Martin ahead. Pass tipped. And Lumley ends up with it. Lumley scoops it across, shot off the glass. That's good. Landon Brown with four. 41-22. First time it's been under 20 in a long time. Almost another travel. Yeah, yeah it was. It yeah, was. the back yep. referee called it. Finally getting some spark out of Louisiana here. Hopefully it's not too little too late. But Oh, there's a change going on. Yeah, now they're going to move the inbound to the far side. Yeah, you're really not supposed to. Be able to do a substitution after a basket. Or, or no, it was a travel. Yeah, that's right. To the near side. Bounce pass Lumley. Kick out to Reese off the glass. They found something. See, there's that good ball movement they keep doing all night. He's got four. Oh. Got away with the travel there. And gets it back to Sam Northcutt. Northcutt for Aiden Die out high. Over to the far side for Quinn Eckler. Eckler to the near side for Die. And Die knocked down. A little too strong there, Cooper. That's going to be Cooper's third. So Lumley's got to be careful now. He had the arm out there. I think uh, maybe Mark Twain player was a little off balance already. With it is Josh Black in the ball game. He goes baseline and it's knocked out by Martin. With a minute 51 to go in the third. I know I'm not playing, but I still haven't adjusted to this baseline being a foot and a half wide. Yeah. Well, I you, mean, the kid's shoes barely even stay yeah, in you, bounds. You can go up to the next line. Okay. Yeah. And a block and a foul going to be called on Wyatt Martin. Shooting foul, Sam Northcutt, he hits them both, he has 20. So it is just like the Brussels gym that I was talking about yeah. for the game. And the shot is good. 19 points for Sam Northcutt, that's his first to the second half. Gets the lead back to 18. Over in the other gym, it's Clopton leading Wright City 44-25. And the next, he'll stay under 20 as he missed. And here comes Martin. Martin. Back to Mooney. Mooney, and he can't hook up with Martin. Wyatt just kind of got stuck backpedaling a little bit. Couldn't get the momentum moving back the other way. Arms were out there. He couldn't get the rest of the body going. North cut. Two die in the backcourt. Now they cross the line. He has a man back door, and we're going to have a foul before the pass. And that goes on Landon Brown, his third. So L.A. has a few guys that are potentially in foul trouble, but there's only a minute 20 to go in the third, so. Yeah, not too, too terrible. Third foul of the quarter. I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't make the bonus 
Ooh, mm. off balance shot. Die puts it through. Back to a 20 point lead. Here's DeZira. To Mooney. Quincy Mooney. Free throw line for Lumley. Back to Mooney. Back to Lumley again. Over to the far side for Alex. The zero gets it back to the free throw line. Here's Lumley to the hoop and in. Cooper Lumley, 44-26 and a timeout taken by Louisiana. With a minute even to go in the third, it's an 18-point Mark Twain lead from the Clopton Invitational on KJFM WBBA Sports. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by Ackles Farm Market, Lacrosse Lumber, and Meyer Implement Company. Get the best deals of the year during New Holland's Value Bonanza going on now at Bowling Green Tractor. Put 0% financing for 72 months in your pocket or choose a freeloader on Workmaster subcompact and compact tractors and Boomer compact tractors. Reliable, powerful, and easy to run. They help you tackle chores without breaking the bank. Work smarter with year-end value bonanza savings at Bowling Green Tractor. Stop in today. Offers end December 31st. For commercial use only, customer participation subject to credit qualifications and CNH Industrial Capital America LLC approval. Standard terms, conditions, and other restrictions apply. Down payment may be required. Ingram Plumbing has always been known for its outstanding plumbing service. But did you know that Ingram's is also the largest retail plumbing supply store in the area? We carry Delta faucets, a complete line of Whirlpool tubs and showers, jacuzzi pumps, and many other specialty items. Stop by Ingram Plumbing today, Highway 61 Bowling Green. The most complete coverage of high school sports is on Eagle 102, and it's brought to you by Mid-America Auto and Towing, Perkins Electrical Services, and Pike County Mutual Insurance. 25-point lead over in the other gym for Clopton on Wright City, 50-25 to 25 here. It's 44-26. Mark Twain leading Louisiana. Mark Brunick, Stacey Martin here in the old Clopton gym as that one's knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Tigers with 41.1 seconds to go and see if they get it in. If they play for the last shot, I don't see it. They're, they've they been I, playing too fast tonight. I was going to say, I think Mark Twain's a little too fast to play for, play for one. Kick out. That's Josh Black. Bounce pass to the free throw line for Northcutt. Sam going to take it to the hoop on Martin and score. Northcutt has 21. Back to a 20-point lead for the Tigers. Here's to Zira. And he double dribbled. On the crossover, put the second hand on the ball. Turnover with 23.9 seconds to go in the third quarter. You say Mark Twain has not stopped this pressure since the ball was tipped. Nope. And I don't say it ended anytime soon. And really, they haven't gotten that deep into their bench, so... It's been five, six guys. See, they got about a seven-man rotation, and that is it. Out high. Now they're going to play for that last shot with eight on the clock. Over to the far side. Each quarter, they've had the ball and thrown up a wild three at the end. Eh, not this time. It goes out of bounds. It's going to okay. stay with the Tigers with 1.2 on the clock. So they still got that chance for a wild three. Now they're going to switch off who inbounds, laying an armor. That'd be their sixth man. Far side, here's the three. And it goes in off the glass. Talk about luck. That's <laughs> 10 points now for Quinn Eckler. And a 49-26 lead for Mark Twain heading to the fourth quarter. It's the consolation semifinal of the Clopton Invitational on KJFM WBBA Sports. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by All Parts, Eagles Nest Inn, Bed and Breakfast, and Sun Window Company. I'm Tylee Mills, the CEO of Pike County Memorial Hospital. You've heard it from your friends, family, and even neighbors. They choose Pike County Memorial Hospital. Quality care from quality people. Pike County Memorial Hospital. Lynn's Heritage House isn't your average senior living facility. At Lynn's, residents have an abundance of social and recreational activities, including trips to the Twin Pike Family YMCA, numerous craft projects, and even the occasional day trip around Pike County. As a resident, you can enjoy the same independent lifestyle you've always enjoyed, but with the peace of mind knowing that help is available when needed. For more information, visit Lynn's Heritage House, 800 Kelly Lane in Louisiana, or online at lynnsheritage.com. Area High School Sports on Eagle 102. Brought to you by Rod Prentice and Brenda Crawford, State Farm Agents. 
Pepsi, and Ackles Farm Market. Well, in the third quarter, Louisiana outscored Mark Twain 16 to 12, but still trail 49-26, and they outscored their first two quarters 16 to 10. Mark Frederick, Stacey Martin here for the fourth quarter, first of two from the middle school gym in this consolation semi. Martin cut off from the basket, gets it back to Zira. He goes to the floor and has it taken away. Ball goes to the floor again and picked back up by Alex, up to Cooper Lumley. Lumley going to take it to the hole himself, score, and is fouled. Six points now for Cooper and a chance for an and one. Here we go. was on Eckler. That should be his first, I believe. It is. First, team first. 49-28, 7.36 to go in the fourth. And Cooper Lumley at the line. And he makes it. The old-fashioned three-point play. Still love to see it. Hasn't been a whole lot of free throw opportunities for Louisiana, but they're five for five. Oh, oh what a big block. Yeah. Javon Reese, and they'll get the uh, jump, and it'll be Mark Twain Ball on the alternating arrow. I've seen Louisiana play twice now this year, and, and he has done that numerous times. If he can put on 15 pounds, I mean, he'll be a force to be reckoned with. He's and definitely skin pressure. and bones. Out high with it, Mark Twain. May want to run a little clock here, I don't know. With a 20-point lead, that shot no good. I don't think no it's good. their style. No. Put back good and a foul. Northcutt has 23, chance to make it 24 from the line. And the foul goes on Wyatt Martin, his third. With 7.16 on the clock. Armour checks out. And the three-point play is converted. Up the floor quickly. Reese, baseline, no. Couldn't sneak it over, and Sam Northcutt gets the rebound for the Tigers. No, oh, oh, got to write the carry there. Little bit. Dotson. Back to Die, and they are trying to burn a little bit of clock here, and very little. I feel like 30 seconds is a lot to Mark Twain. Yeah, that's uh, that's about the extent. The ADHD offense. Kick back. They're going to make a liar out of me here. I don't think anything's opened up for them yet. Now they're going to force it to the hoop and can't get the shot to go. Put back, though, is good. North cut with two more. And we have an injured Bulldog, and that's Alex DeZero, the senior. Looks like it's a lower body. At least he's walking off on his own. Yeah, wincing though. Jared Akrai with some uh, good pointers. You see what your teammate did? Do that. Here, top of the key, a three, a little long. And the rebound pulled down by Northcutt. He's got to have a double double or real close to it. He's gotten so many rebounds tonight. Yeah. We go with this 23 points, 25. Thought he was working on his assist game there for a second. Kick back. Here's the three. No. Another Got rebound. another rebound. And they lost it, though. Martin got it to Lumley. And he lost it. Pass ahead. Here's an assist for him. Off the glass and good. Eckler has a dozen. 56-29, so Mark Twain has picked it back up here in the fourth. Reese over everything, and the rebound grabbed by Miller. Miller to the near side for Dotson. Dotson going to slow up. To North, cut over to the far side for Die. Die going to take it to the hoop, and he puts it in. He's got 14. 58-29, 
a 29 point lead with 4.55 to go. Mooney gets it to Brown, now down low. And that shot no good. Offensive rebound, Martin off his own miss is fouled. And Wyatt Martin will head to the line. Eight points. And he'll try and become the first double digit scorer for Louisiana in this game. Martin puts the first one through. Foul, by the way, was the third on Die. And he hit that one. And we've we'll got a full timeout by Louisiana. With 4.42 to go. Bulldogs trail the Mark Twain Tigers 58-31 semifinals consolation semis of the Clopton Invitational on KJFM and WBBA. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by All Parts, Eagles Nest Inn, Bed and Breakfast, and Sun Window Company. Raffle tickets are on sale now. This is Tracy Brookshire with Pike County Health Department Home Health and Hospice. Our Home Care and Hospice Foundation is selling raffle tickets. Enter for your chance to win $1,200 in local restaurant gift cards, a Smith & Wesson 9mm, a beautiful patio set, or a Henry 22 pump action. $5 for one ticket or $20 for five tickets. Get yours online at pikecountyhospice.com or by stopping in at our office at One Healthcare Place in Bowling Green behind Walmart. Winner will be drawn at our annual Valentine Gala fundraiser in February and does not need to be present to win. Is winter giving your home a hard time? Let People's Bank and Trust make financing those home improvements easy. I'm Jake Thompson, and we have loans designed specifically for repairs and renovations, along with home equity lines of credit. Stop by People's Bank and Trust on Business 61 in Bowling Green or in historic downtown Louisiana and ask to speak to one of our lenders about how we can help you. People's Bank and Trust, online at www.pbtc.net, member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender, and MLS number 407724. The best coverage of high school sports on KJFM brought to you by Community State Bank of Missouri, County Market in Louisiana, and Bowling Green Pharmacy. Mark Twain with the ball after the timeout from just in front of the free throw line. That shot's no good. Offensive rebound, and the Tigers will keep possession. Die. Try it again. No on this one, and Lumley gets the rebound. Cooper going to take it up himself. Cooper splits the defense, goes off the glass. He's like, oh, wow. Wide open. <laughs> yeah. He's going to end up, uh, he's got nine points right now. 58-33. It's out of reach for Louisiana, but I like their second half a whole lot better than the first half. That shot no good. Put back. Blocked by Martin. He's on the run. Bounces off a defender, puts on the brakes. Here's Reese. To Lumley for three, short. And the rebound grabbed by Trayton Clements. 325 remaining in the ball game. First game over in the high school gym. Clopton won that one. So they passed us. We were almost we were uh, a full quarter ahead of them. And that shot is good. Little floater for a Yes, they had running clock on that game. Yeah. 60 to 33. So the number one seed, Clopton Hawks, in the championship game, just like their sisters, the number one seed, Clopton Lady Hawks. From the corner, that shot splashes home. Martin for three. He's got 15 now. 60 to 36. Wide open far side. Quinn Eckler, shot kind of wild. Clements the rebound, kicks it back for Northcutt. That's flat off the back iron. And the rebound grabbed by Lumley. Here comes Martin. Bounce pass for Eckler. Free throw line, Cooper Lumley. And stripped of the ball on his way up was Martin. Ball loose for a second. Almost taken away by Reese. And a timeout. 
A timeout just to switch out. Five fresh for Mark Twain. And Louisiana, I believe, is going to do the same. Yeah, they'll get a couple of fresh bodies in there, right? And everyone's in. One, two, three, four, five. One, Will two, three, Chitster. Four, five. Okay. And Johnny Miller. In for the Bulldogs. See if the reserves are playing the same style at the start as were. That shot off the glass for Turnbull, no good. Quinn Turnbull got his own rebound, trying to get it back. Nope. Put back this time is good. Die with two more. He has a quiet 18. Yep. Three, no good. Ball out of bounds. Back to Mark Twain. Minute 39 to go in this game. And back in comes Trayton Clements. And he replaces Landon Armour. Uh, the refs weren't communicating or watching because the ref next to a scores table had his hand up, and the baseline guy says, ah, we're going to hand it in anyway. Well, you better listen to Coach St. Clair. <laughs> I finally added Mark St. Clair as being one of the three officials for this ball game, the Bowling Green football coach. who apparently doesn't have an off button. He just keeps going and going. You think it runs an energizer? Something. Tigers with the ball. Die, reverse layup is good. He doesn't stop either. No. Die does not stop either. Lead back to 28 with a minute 12 to go. Kick out, how about a three top of the key, in and out. Rebound, out of bounds, last touch by Ian Colbert. So it goes back to Louisiana. We we're going to fall to 2 and 10. Well, Mark Twain's going to raise their record to 2 and 9. And we've got a foul. Going to be called on Die. That's his fourth. We may have a player foul out of this game. I don't know. Well, Minute two to go. Well, the coach is going to keep him in. He just said, I'm not taking you out, so <laughs> don't get five. Here's Lumley. And a. And they count it. And that's it. That's five. Pretty sure he signaled number 10. Yep, yeah, sure did. <laughs> well, that yeah, lasted long, about yeah. six seconds. He finishes with 20 points. Cooper. We'll go to the line with a chance for an and one. He's got 11 points. Can he make the dirty dozen? Yeah. Sixty-four thirty-nine. That's 12 points off the bench for Cooper Lumley tonight. They work it down low. Kick back now to Quinn Turnbull. Turnbull hands it back for Josh Black. His three is off to the left. And Lumley with the rebound. Down to 35 seconds to go. Well, the bench was room from the make it because the whole entire bench stood up as yeah. it went up in the air. So, teammates definitely have his back. Yeah. We've got Silex and Ellsbury coming up. Down to 20 seconds. 64-39. They work it down low and a foul. So don't foul, don't foul. Yeah, he fouled. Chitster will go to the line. There's a lot of pressure. Should be shooting two. Yeah, that was her fifth. But Chitster has a lot of pressure on him. Louisiana has not missed a free throw until now. Oh, man, you brought it up. I, <laughs> I've been bringing it up for the last <laughs> two quarters. I know, I know. I'm just here to put you on the spot. How about this one? He makes the second one. <laughs> he just wanted to get him to 40 points. First point of the night for Will Chitster. Down to six seconds. And they'll hold Armour out high, and that'll do it. A 24-point win for Mark Twain, and they will play on Saturday in the consolation game against either Silex or Ellsbury. Final again, 64-40. to 40. Louisiana two and out from the Clopton Invitational. 
We'll be back with the post game for you after this on KJFM WBBA Sports. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by All Parts, Eagles Nest Inn, Bed and Breakfast, and Sun Window Company. The Eagle 102 Post Game Show is coming up. With 14 stores across Missouri and Illinois, La Crosse Lumber Company provides lumber, quality products, and service to homeowners, builders, DIYers, and more. With some of the top brand names in the business available, La Crosse Lumber has what you need for your next project. Stop into any location for a free estimate before you start your next build. La Crosse Lumber Company, the oldest, most reliable lumber and hardware company in the Midwest since 1873. From the classic cheesesteak and rich crab cakes, a taste of Philly in Bowling Green is a fan favorite. A meal ready for you before or after the game, and game day jerseys are welcome. Open seven days a week. A taste of Philly. Business Highway 54 West in Bowling Green. Royal Banks is your community bank with locations throughout St. Louis, St. Charles, Northeast Missouri, Granite City, and Jerseyville, Illinois. A Royal Bank branch is not far away. Royal Banks bring experienced staff and products and services designed to meet your professional and personal financial needs. Investing in our communities one client at a time. Call 314-212-1500 today. Royal Banks of Missouri, member FDIC and equal opportunity lender. Area high school sports on Eagle 102. Brought to you by People's Bank and Trust, State Farm Insurance, Cindy Blaylock agent, and Bowling Green Pharmacy. Time now for the Eagle 102 post game show on KJFM. Final score the Mark Twain Tigers improved to 2 9, beating the Louisiana Bulldogs 64 40. So Louisiana is 2 and out from the Clopton Invitational. That has not happened in some time. And uh, uh, Mark Twain will take on either Silex or Ellsbury for the consolation crown. That's going to be at 1 o'clock on Saturday from the Dale Miller Gymnasium. Mark Frontis, Jason Martin back here in the uh, middle school gym, and that was just a really domination uh, over the first two quarters. Louisiana technically won the second half by one point, but uh, the Tigers did what they needed to do to maintain uh, the, the, the big lead, 24 points, uh, the margin of victory in this one. Well, I was just getting ready to say, you know, Louisiana had 24 turnovers to Mark Twain's 10. Now, we did say if you do 12 and 12, you have a good chance of winning, but yeah. Mark, but, uh, Twain, Mark only Twain had only had 10. And I think Louisiana probably had 16 or 17 of those in the first half. Yeah, and, and most of that in the first quarter. I mean, it was, yes. it was just a really bad first quarter. 22 to four, they were outscored in that first quarter. Uh, 15 to six in the second quarter. They won the third quarter 16 to 12 and uh, were outscored 15-14 in the final eight minutes. So uh, it was just a maintained second half for yeah. the uh, the Tigers uh, on route to the 24-point uh, victory. Basically playing not to lose instead of playing to win. But when you're up by 20-something the whole entire game, you can do that. Yeah, they got it all the way up to 29 points. Never got over that uh, running clock threshold, but it was always right there, and that's a comfortable place to be, especially for a team that came into this ball game with just one win. Final yep. again, uh, 64 to 40. Final scoring numbers uh, for uh, Louisiana. Uh, a point for Will Chidster. Uh, four points for Javon Reese. Four points for Alex DeZero. Four points for Landon Brown. Uh, a dozen in the game for Cooper Lumley. 15 for Wyatt Martin. So Lumley and Martin, your two uh, double figure scorers. You got uh, the Mark Twain scoring figured out? Yes, uh, for Mark Twain, I have Jack Dotson with two, Coden Miller with two, Landon Armour with two. And Aiden Dye with 20, and he wasn't the high score. No. Sam Northcutt with 26. Yeah, and uh, a lot of that. He had 18 by halftime, so he really didn't have to do much <laughs> in the second half to get that uh, scoring title for the game. Quinn Eckler also with a dozen points for the Tigers as they win by uh, 24 points in this one. 64-40 the final. Take a quick break. We'll come back with our second game of the night. Ellsbury and Silex, a Lincoln County battle here on the uh, southern edge of Pike County in the Clopton Invitational here on KJFM WBBA Sports. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by Castile's Color Wheel, Pike Lincoln Technical Center, and Kearns Construction. 
It's time to visit Hayden's Motorsports Center in Frankfurt. Time to ride with Honda and Polaris ATVs, side-by-sides, and motorcycles. Time to work with steel and Husqvarna chainsaws, weed eaters, leaf blowers, and more. Hayden's Motorsports Center, just off Highway 61 North in Frankfurt. Bowling Green Veterinary Clinic knows that getting the best care for your pet is a top priority. They strive to provide the greatest quality medical and surgical care for our furry companions. Their newly expanded and remodeled facility with accommodations for comprehensive inpatient hospital care and complete outpatient care allows the friendly and knowledgeable staff at Bowling Green Veterinary Clinic to keep your pet healthy and safe so the whole family can cheer on our area teams. Brown's Processing and Smokehouse Meats is your first stop when stocking your freezer. Brown's has frozen chicken, steaks, brats, and burgers ready to go. For wholesale and custom butchering, Brown's is your first call. It's where quality meat service. Brown's Processing and Smokehouse Meats. For your meat processing, smokehouse meats, and homemade sausage. Just off Highway 61 in Silex. It's time now for the Eagle 102 pregame show, sponsored by Bowling Green Pharmacy. Back at the Glopton Tournament, our second game of the night here in the Constellation Semis has the Silex Owls, the uh, sixth seed in this tournament. The uh, seventh seed, rather, taking on the sixth seed Ellsbury Indians. It'll be the Indians in their road reds, Silex in their home whites for this one, and uh, the winner moves on to take on uh, Mark Twain in the Constellation game coming up on Saturday afternoon at 1 o'clock. Mark Cronick, Stacen Martin back here in the broadcast booth on the stage at Clopton High School in the old gym. We'll take a break. We'll uh, set up your keys to the game for Silex and Ellsbury after this on the KJFM WBBA pregame show. Noah Builders in Silex, a proud supporter of all area athletes, is a small locally owned contractor with over 25 years of experience in custom and new home construction. Noah Builders wants to take your forever home plan and make it a reality. Call or visit noahbuilders.com. Gambino's Eatery, Saturday brunch from 10 a.m. to 1. Enjoy regular breakfast favorites, the country frittata or body bag burrito with Saturday specials, including French toast, waffles, or breakfast combo with a biscuit, eggs, and your choice of ham, sausage, or bacon, and brunch mimosas. Join Gambino's for Saturday brunch starting at 10 a.m. If it's not on the menu, we don't talk about it. The Eagle's Nest Inn Bed and Breakfast in Louisiana is where history, comfort, and charm come together. It's the ideal choice for a memorable getaway when visiting for festivals, homecoming, or the upcoming holidays. Call or book online at theeaglesnestinbb.com. Follow area high school sports throughout the season on Eagle 102. Brought to you by Deolia Landscape Supply, Royal Banks, and a taste of Philly. The Eagle 102 Keys to the Game. And our keys to the game for Silex and Ellsbury. Ellsbury, I think they need to stay on the same track that they were in at the uh, People's Bank and Trust shootout. Uh, last week at Louisiana. They looked really good in that game, and um, and then they came out in the opening round of this tournament, and although, you know, they, they played a good first half, uh, Winfield just uh, outran them a little bit in a 54-34 uh, win uh, for for the uh, Winfield Warriors and really negated uh, that, uh, that motor uh, that we saw out of uh, – the uh, point guard, Davion Dotson, he, he was kind of neutralized uh, in that game uh, against Winfield, and that was that was interesting to me. On the Silex side, Stason, they have got to go north and south. They cannot get into the paint and then go east-west. They've got they're they're big, they're tall. They got to play strong and go right to the basket. Well, I was just thinking. I mean, there's no reason for Silex to not use their size advantage. I mean, looking on the core, they probably got three or four inches. On everybody. On yeah. everybody, yeah. let alone the biggest guy. Yeah, so they've got to use that size to their advantage and not try and be too fancy. They're not a fancy team. They, they can't fake being a fancy team. Uh, so basically what you're saying is stay in your element. Don't do what you can't do. Exactly. And, and play basketball uh, the right way. North and south, go to the hoop. Drive that lane. So those are our keys to the game. we got starting lineups in just a couple minutes here on the KJFM WBBA pregame show. 
Game of the Week coverage brought to you by West End Cabins and Storage, Central State Bank of Illinois, and Missouri State Representative Chad Perkins. Welcome to Vast National Bank. How can I help you? Hey, I'm here to talk to someone about a loan. Oh, I'll grab you the L97B. We call it the Just Talking Form. What about actually applying for a loan? Oh my, let me pop in the toner cartridge. Hey Bill, you want to pass me the big stapler? Yeah, I'm just going to go to People's Savings Bank. Skip the mega banks. When you need a loan, visit People's Savings Bank. The people you know and trust. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. You simply can't buy a better replacement window than one from Sun Window Company. Energy efficient windows and doors with a lifetime warranty on both the window and installation. Sun Window Company, family owned and operated since 1989, offers low factory direct prices on high quality vinyl windows. Custom designed to fit perfectly and built to last. See how much you can save. Call Sun Windows, 573-549-2080 for details and a free estimate. Sun Window Company, Highway 161 in Middletown. Greatness doesn't happen overnight. It takes time, focus, and dedication. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that because we put in the hard work and dedication for decades. And that commitment has paid off with award-winning customer service for your auto, home, and life insurance. Ask me, Ashley Jenkins, about Shelter's auto, home, and life options. Geared Up, just off the square in Pittsfield, is your first stop for screen printing and embroidery. The folks at Geared Up take pride in making their communities and schools look great while offering the best prices around. If you're looking to expand your wardrobe or maybe a gift is on the list, stop by their store and check out numerous items in stock. When you're looking for custom apparel and awards for your business, organization, or team, stop by Geared Up, 211 South Madison in Pittsfield. State Farm in Pittsfield understands Game of the Week coverage talk. brought to you the by Jay Roberts is there to help you Pike make County smart decisions company. when it comes to all your insurance and financial service needs. Call, email, text, or stop by the office Monday through Friday between 9 to 5 to talk to an agent. State Farm in Pittsfield, a family-oriented office, is located at 311 Half West Washington Street in Pittsfield, serving Pike County, Illinois, and the surrounding areas. The area's best coverage of high school sports on Eagle 102 brought to you by Pike County Health Department, People Savings Bank, and All Parts. The Eagle 102 starting lineups on KJFM are brought to you by Community State Bank in Bowling Green and Troy. And your starters for this second consolation semifinal. First for the road team, the number six seed Ellsbury Indians. They're two and nine coached by Brandon Moeller. They'll start a sophomore, number one, Noah Hoskton. Uh, the senior gets a start, number 10, Ben Dow. Senior, number 12, Kyle Tapley gets a start. Junior, number 14, Davion Dotson. And a senior, number 21, Ezekiel Byers, rounds out the starting five. For the Silex Isles, they're the seventh seed. They're two and seven, coached by Ethan Evans. He'll start a junior at five foot nine. Number zero, Reiner Hopkins. Number 22, a six four senior, Hunter Hubbard, gets a start. At six foot three, I think they're cheating him out of an inch. A senior, number 23, Tyler Twelman. At 6'5", a senior, number 25, Cole Fessler. And at 6'5", a senior, number 40, Jake Henry, rounds out the starting five. So four of the five starters, 6'3", or taller for Silex. And uh, they need to use that size to their advantage. Uh, again, Hopkins, Hubbard, Twelman, Fessler, and Henry for the Owls. And Hostian, uh, Dow, Tampley, Dotson, and Byers for Ellsbury. Those are your starting five for each side, getting ready to introduce them on the floor. Then we'll tip off our second game. Winner of this takes on the Mark Twain Tigers in consolation, and uh, Clopton will take on either Monroe City or Winfield. That game just underway with Monroe City leading Winfield 5 to nothing. Back with the tip of this one after this from the Clopton Invitational on KJFM WBBA Sports. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by Bib Veach and Collier Funeral Homes, Edward Jones Financial Advisor Kayla Caldwell, and Silex Banking Company. Your car, your stuff, your savings. Combine your auto and renter's insurance with a call to State Farm Insurance agent Cindy Blaylock in Louisiana and let Cindy show you how to put life back in your life insurance. Auto, home, and life. Make your wallet happy. Here to help life go right, State Farm Insurance Agent Cindy Blaylock in Louisiana. 
It's a great time to buy or sell a home. I'm Vicki Cadwalder, and I take pride in offering skills that make the process go smoothly from beginning to end. Even after closing, I enjoy staying in touch and being there to help you if you have any other needs or questions. Call me, and we'll create a personalized plan just for you. Vicki Cadwalder Real Estate, loving our small town life. Cellular Satellite Center is the only stop you need to make when it comes to satellite providers, offering direct TV and dish network along with antenna installs. Now, a special message from Matthew Niemeyer himself. If you call an 800 number and they say we will be the local installer, they are wrong. Contact Matthew at Cellular Satellite Center in Bowling Green, your local authorized dealer. Area High School Sports on Eagle 102, brought to you by Rick Rodhouse, Country Financial Agent, NOAA Builders, and Central State Bank of Illinois. Teams on the floor. The referee gave the ball to Ryder Hopkins, said, uh, is this uh, inflated well enough? And uh, Ellsbury wins it back. Ellsbury said, yeah, it's inflated just fine. <laughs> they have the ball to start the ball game. Over to the far side, it's Tapley. Through Dotson. Here's a three, top of the key, and a nice start for Ben Dow. Trey puts Ellsbury up. 3-0 to start this contest. With it is Twelman for the Owls over to the far side for Ryder Hopkins. Hopkins hands it off now for Hunter Hubbard. Hubbard to the near side for Hopkins. Back to Hubbard. Hunter gives it to those purple shoes and the guy in them, Tyler Twelman. Purple and green don't really go together, but I guess he makes it work as he's blocked by Ezekiel Byers. Center of the lane, kick out to the far side. How about a three for Dotson? That's off the mark. Rebound pulled down by Tampley. Here's another three. That's offline. Tip up rebound, and we're going to have a foul called on Ezekiel Byers. First foul for either side. We about had an adventure, didn't we? That's the second time I've done that tonight. <laughs> I didn't even know I did it the second time. I just can't have nice things. I'm here up here trying to break everything. Yeah, pushing, yeah, we, we almost pushing went the table off the stage. We almost went off the stage, yeah. I would have lost my job. Probably because it's my and stuff. Got met, and got <laughs> met in the parking lot. <laughs> to the near side, here's a long three. Twelman just off the mark. And the rebound pulled down by Hostin. And through the hands of Tampley out of bounds, back to Silex. 6.31 to go. In the opening quarter, still 3-0 in favor of the Indians. They came out to Fessler with it. He hands back to Tyler Twelman. Yeah, I'm not digging this green and purple. Yeah. Now, I do like the uh, the Fessler green on green. Little floater on the baseline. Twelman puts it in. He can wear whatever he wants if he makes shots, right? I, I agree. I'll shut up. I'll shut up. Across the line to Davion Dotson. Now for Ben Dow. Dow has all the points for Ellsbury. On that game opening three, here's Kyle Tapley. Cross court for Dotson. He'll put up the three. It's a little long. Rebound off the forehead of uh, Noah. And Houston gets it far side. Now Good to the baseline. Movement. And a nice finish by Good ball Ezekiel movement. Byers. Makes it 5 2 Ellsbury. With 5.38 to go in the first quarter. Hopkins over to the far side now for Fessler. Cole Fessler, he starts his dribble and lost control. And they're going to say it was tipped out of bounds. Mm. I think Fessler thought eh, otherwise, but he'll take it. Well, he's not the only one in the gym. I'm not going to say who else, but not the only one in the gym that thought it wasn't tipped. Yeah, I think he just lost it. Twelman gets it in. Back up top now for Ryder Hopkins. Hopkins. Gets it back to Twelman again. Here's a little shot fading away from the free throw line. Those are the kind of shots that Silex was getting in trouble with in the opening round game. That shot long, rebound pulled down by Jake Henry. You got to go to the contact, make them foul you, make them pay on the free throw line. You can't avoid contact. Bounce pass and out of the reach of Henry, out of bounds. And we'll have our first substitution as Nolan Wilson will come in for Kyle Tampley. That's three turnovers for Silex. Only one for Ellsbury on the first quarter, so. Cross the line, they come with it. To the near side for Wilson. 
Dotson back up top for Ben Dow. Long range three is no good. Two owls fight for the rebound, and Henry comes down with it. Gets it off to Tyler Twelman. Twelman across the line. Gave up his dribble. Now gets it to Henry. Henry gives it to Ryder Hopkins. Hopkins shoots There's off to the of right. That, more of that fadeaway stuff you were talking about. Yeah. Just They're going to say it went out clean back to Ellsbury. So the Indians take over with 4.27 to go. Up by three. Over in the other gym, it's Monroe leading Winfield 9 to 5. Shot from just in front of the free throw line, no good. And the rebound pulled down by Cole Fessler to Ryder Hopkins ahead. That shot does find its way home for Hunter Hubbard. He's got two, and it's a 5 4 game. With it is Wilson on the baseline, and he ran into Coach St. Clair and it gets fouled. Jake Henry, I think, will be his first. It is. First foul against the Owls at the midway point of the first quarter. Get a first free throw attempt of the night as well. Nolan Wilson off the bench for Ellsbury in this one. And the first shot's no good. Score remains 5-4. In favor of the Indians. Got the three from Dow. And they haven't looked back yet. Missed them both. Here's Ryder Hopkins with it. Off the rebound by Henry. He's in trouble. Hands it off now for Twelman. Twelman tried to dump it inside for Fessler, and it's taken away by the Indians. Here's Davion Dotson. Runs into three owls. Kick out. Wilson for three. Off the mark, got it back, he'll try it again. That one, a little long as well. Ooh, Ooh, big bump there to the near side. Here's Dotson as Jordan came into the ball game at the last whistle. And uh, another foul on Henry, I believe. Pretty light contact against Ezekiel Byers. Well, compared to whenever, I'm gonna butcher his name, Noah Hogson got leveled down in the paint. Yeah, and there was no call there. Yeah. So Henry checks out into the ball game. Chase Mullen. Byers gets that one to go. Ezekiel with four points. And it's a three-point lead again for Ellsbury. Their original three-point lead is restored. Now down to 3-10 to go in the quarter. Down high with it is Fessler. Hands it off for Twelman. Twelman got the ball stuck on his hip and traveled. Yep. Lost his footing, and I'd be called every time. Substitution, Gabe Wieland in. Dow across the line to the far side for Jordan. Kicks it for Nolan Wilson. He steps inside three, shot over everything, and the rebound is pulled down by Cole Fessler. Fessler going to take it across the line himself. To Twelman. Twelman, center of the lane now. Backing up is Hubbard, and he does the splits and is fouled. It's going to be on Noah Wilson. That's going to be his first. Team, Team second. second. Yep. Jinx. Yep. <laughs> you owe me a Dr. Pepper. I thought it was a co it, It's a Coke over here. Come on. Uh, well, my kids say Dr. Pepper. Oh, okay. I drink Mountain Dew. So if you want to yell at my kids, go ahead. Yeah. Another foul <laughs> against the. Uh, Indians, and that one goes against Noah Houschen. Inbound to Fessler off the glass. Cole Fessler's first two points of the night. See, that's the kind of power move they need, though. Well, did you see him taunt? He put his hand down low like the kid's too small. Little that shot, no good. And Hunter Hubbard is fouled on the rebound. A little unnecessary by Fessler, but it is what it is. You get caught in the moment. Can't fault no, him for no that. Wilson picks up his second. And it's a rivalry game. I didn't I, know that. Yeah, 15 nine miles separates the two schools in a straight line. So. Well, thank you for filling in the Illinois guy. Yeah. Down to 2.15 to play. 
You should see it when they get together on a ball diamond. Some, some, some of the most tense baseball you'll see. That shot off the glass. Good move, Cole Fessler. Well, hopefully I'll get the privilege uh, to see that this coming sp uh, spring, right? Yep. I hesitated because I know softball's in the fall over here. Uh -huh. Baseball and softball both in the spring in Illinois. Over to the far side, here's Jordan for three, and it's good. Matthew Jordan with a tray. And Ellsbury back ahead after giving up that lead on the last possession. Over to the far side, here's Ryder Hopkins. Hopkins for the baseline, that goes over everything, and nope, out of bounds. And Jordan, that's where he's struggling. That, that knee injury, he just... He can't move side to side very well at all. And one of the referees actually got on him thinking he was flopping in the opening round. And, oh. And he had to explain to him, I just, I can't move laterally very well right now. I've had that brace. It's not a fun one to wear. Off the miss, Fessler with the rebound. To Twelman. And he's fouled by Ben Dow. They're going to shoot free throws now. Yeah, that's the fifth foul against the uh, Ellsbury Indians. Yep. Tyler Twelman. Still looking for our first make from the free throw line from either side tonight. First opportunity for Silex, and he missed. He toes the line with his right foot. Left one was a little bit back, and he missed them both. Rim that one out. Byers with the rebound for Ellsbury. Ahead to Jordan. To Dow. Dow. To Dotson to the near side for Matthew Jordan. To Ezekiel Byers. Byers to the basket. No. Put back. No. And the rebound pulled down by Tyler Twelman. He's across the line. Gets it to Cole Fessler. Fessler left it for Ryder Hopkins. Over to the far side for Twelman. They're starting to get a little fancy. He's got to do meat and potatoes basketball. Well, that's just going to win you more games oh. than not. Yeah, Twelman just went down awkwardly. Results in a two-on-one. Reverse layup does not stick to the rim. And the rebound grabbed by Chase Mullen. I think Twelman tweaked something. He's still flexing that knee. That shot no good. Really didn't get back on defense. He's wincing. Here's a three at the buzzer. Off the glass and good. Oh, my. Ben Dallas, second tray, beats the buzzer and gives Ellsbury a 13-8 lead after the opening eight minutes. It's the consolation semifinal from the Clopton Invitational here on KJFM WBBA Sports. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by Jay Roberts Jewelry, Pike County Title Company, and Gambino's Eatery. Cellular and Satellite Center is the only stop you need to make when it comes to satellite providers, offering direct TV and dish network along with antenna installs. Now a special message from Matthew Niemeyer himself. If you call an 800 number and they say we will be the local installer, they are wrong. Contact Matthew at Sailor and Satellite Center in Bowling Green, your local authorized dealer. Community State Bank of Missouri in Bowling Green and Troy, where the number one priority is the customer and adding new services to help simplify your life and building a strong, high-performance financial services organization. Community State Bank in Bowling Green and Troy, your community bank since 1887, member FDIC. Area High School Sports on Eagle 102, brought to you by Cellular and Satellite Center. Pike County Memorial Hospital and Community State Bank of Missouri. Interesting first quarter, kind of back and forth a little bit. Had a buzzer beater at the end. Three threes for Ellsbury in that first quarter. And they're shooting at the, uh, the tough rim on the uh, left end of the stage. Yeah, I noticed that from the last game. Uh, the other end is easier than the end that Ellsbury is currently on. Turnaround three, that's no good. Put back. Also no good and tipped out of bounds by Easton Twelman off the miss by Max Lavey. So Lavey and uh, Easton Twelman come in the ball game. Six points for Ben Dow. He's the leading scorer. A couple players with four, one on each side. And Byers, now he has six. 15 to eight. And this is where Silex has to 
put together a couple possessions. Uh, if they fall behind, they, they have a tendency to fall way behind real quick. Twelman out high for Mullen. Over to the far side. Here's Twelman with a three. That's, That's what you're Twelman. talking about. That's what you're talking about. Makes it a four-point game. Here's Dow to the near side for Jordan. Kicks it now baseline. Byers, a full 360, and the rebound pulled down by Max Levy. Rocking the mullet again in 24. Pass tipped. Dow takes to the hoop over Twelman, no good. And the rebound grabbed by Chase Mullen. Lob pass to Cole Fessler. Fessler spins, shoots, and he'll be heading to the line to shoot a pair of free throws. And the foul goes on Byers, his second. Four-point game with Ellsbury ahead. First shot is Dang. good. Got our first free throw made. Now they'll just rein in, right? In the other gym, the championship semi tied at 12. Monroe City and Winfield. And the second shot is good as well. He's got six, does Fessler. Myers checks out with two fouls. Probably see him with about two minutes to go in the half. Two, two and a half maybe. And Dotson will bring it up the floor. Up by a bucket, the Indians. Oh my goodness, long range three. It's the third one of the game for Ben Dow and that Extends it back to a five-point advantage for Ellsbury. Here's Fessler. Cole Fessler, no one to his left. Looks to his right and gets it off to Chase Mullen. Mullen drops it in for Hunter Hubbard. Kickback, Levy three, missed everything. Blocked on the putback. And Mullen recovers. Up to Cole Fessler, over to the far side. Twelman, long range three is good. Tyler Twelman, his second three of the quarter. Back to a two-point Ellsbury lead. Free throw line, that shot no good. Tip out rebound, uh-oh, Del Dallas got it I out. I thought he was gonna uh, shoot it. And he'll head to the line to shoot some free throws. That's gonna be on Dotson, his first. Max Levy. With 5.38 to go, and the first shot is good. See, I told you it was going to rain free throws. I don't know why anyone ever doubts you, Mark. <laughs> and hit them both. So Ben Dow has five in the quarter, 11 in the game, and a timeout taken on the floor with 5.38 to play in the half. It's a four-point Ellsbury lead from the Clapton Invitational on KJFM WBBA Sports. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by Lynn's Heritage House, Bill Allen Auction Services, and Knight Equipment Company. CMC Distributing in Louisiana is the place to turn for steel, culverts, industrial supplies, and central welding supplies. In addition, CMC Distributing offers trailer parts, truck accessories, truck beds, and trailer repairs. At CMC Distributing, they always go the extra mile while working hard to make sure you're satisfied. They do it that way for a simple reason. They appreciate your business. CMC Distributing, Highway 54, west of Louisiana. Follow area high school sports on KJFM Radio. Brought to you by Browns Processing and Smokehouse Meats, Young Enterprises, and Family Drug. Hunter Hubbard with the ball, gives it back to Tyler Twelman. Good to see him moving around good. It looked like he had tweaked his knee a little bit earlier. Now Cole Fessler with it out high. Fessler over to the far side. Through Chase Mullen, back up top, now to Hubbard. Down to Fessler, Fessler off the glass, no. Pump faked himself out of that bucket, I think. To Hubbard, Hunter Hubbard gives it back to Cole Fessler. 
It's a big guy to be out that high. Gets it back to Hubbard. Ball went to the floor. Kick back to Ryder Hopkins. Hopkins back to Cole Fessler. Go to the basket. Drops it off for Tyler Twelman. 4.47 to go. He doesn't want to. He wants to stay outside, apparently. Ooh, he drugged that foot. Travel against Twelman. And we're going back the other way on the turnover. That's Ellsbury's, sorry, that is Silex's seventh. Ellsbury only has two so far, so help with the four-point lead they have. Near side, Damian Dotson. Now for Nolan Wilson. Wilson gives it back to Dotson. To Ben Dow. Dow. Through Hoskin to the far side. Now Wilson. Yeah, he got away with some, some steps and some contact on that I, one. Yeah. Shot no good. And Twelman has it. Gets it to Hunter Hubbard. Go to the basket. Shot no good. Put back. No, but a foul will send Chase Mullen to the line, it looks like. It's going to be on Noah. Austin's second. And Mullen to the line. And he rattled that home. Three point game. 20 to 17. One more coming. And broke that string. What was that, five in a row? That was. And it stays a three point Ellsbury lead. 20 to 17, 350 to go in the first half. That shot, no good. Got it back off the glass. Easy put back for Wilson. He's got his first two points of the night. 22-17, 3.35 remaining. Hunter Hubbard with it. Back to Twelman, and he got that one to go. Good feed, good finish. He's having a pretty good first half so far. He's got 10 points, Twelve. eight of them here. Yeah. Here's Dotson. To Tapley. Dow steps out for three and drains it. He can hit from anywhere around the edge of the arc. Well, that's his fourth three of the day. I'm sure he's got plenty more left to go. Tip up and out of bounds. It's going to stay with Silex. 2.53 to go in the quarter, and a timeout taken by Ellsbury. They lead it by six here in the second quarter. Cons uh, consolation semis at the Clopton Invitational from KJFM WBBA Sports. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by Service and Supply Co-op in Bowling Green and Vandalia. Mick Mailer and Sons, Backhoe and Excavating, and Pepsi. Since 1939, Meyer Implement Company has been serving the local agricultural and business communities with quality sales and service. Meyer Implement has also taken great pride in supporting those communities and would like to wish the area sports teams the best of luck throughout their seasons. Be sure to stop by and visit the people who truly appreciate your business. Meyer Implement Company in Bowling Green. High school sports on your area sports leader, Eagle 102. Brought to you by Bowling Green Tractor, Vicki Cadwalder, Real Estate, and Ingram Plumbing. Silex ball after the timeout. Across the line with it is Chase Mullen. Hands it off for Tyler Twelman. Twelman to the near side for Ryder Hopkins. Hopkins backs up. Lob pass for Cole Fessler. Fessler trying to back in. Nothing there. Hands it off to Twelman. Twelman works against Dow gets it back to Fessler, shot no good. Hubbard tried to fly in to grab the loose ball and takes it out of bounds. Gives it back to Ellsbury, leading by six. Pretty fun first half, though. Yeah, I can't complain. I, mean, I noticed that uh, Silex has picked up Dow from the half court line. Mm -hmm. I think they're still giving him a little too much space. He dribbles all the way around the lane, and did he step out? He did. I think he brushed the mat is what he was saying. Yeah. Well, 
that's out of bounds. Yeah, yeah. His feet were still in bounds, but he brushed the mat. Yeah. <laughs> 2.05 to go after the turnover. Silex will bring it up with Ryder Hopkins. He works against Davion Dotson. Dotson. Gets it to Hustler back up top. For Mullen. Now to Twelman. Ball knocked away from him into the backcourt by Dow. And he steals it again. Got away with a little bit of walk setting up for that three. No one came back for Silex and an easy putback for Davion Dotson. Yeah, I'd say that's going to draw a timeout from uh, Coach Ethan Evans. Can't be happy about the effort on that play. 131 to go in the second. 27-19, Ellsbury leads on KJFM WBBA Sports. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by Ackles Farm Market, Lacrosse Lumber, and Meyer Implement Company. Think about all that's important to you, your family, your possessions, and your future. Pick up the phone and call Rick Rodhouse from Country Financial. He, along with his staff, will assist you with insurance coverage to protect what matters most in addition to preparing you for the future. Best of all, Rick will take the time to get to know you and find solutions for your budget. For coverage you need at a price you can afford, contact Rick Rodhouse Insurance Agency in Pleasant Hill to chat about your insurance needs today. Get the best deals of the year during New Holland's Value Bonanza, going on now at Bowling Green Tractor. Put 0% financing for 72 months in your pocket or choose a freeloader on Workmaster subcompact and compact tractors and Boomer compact tractors. Reliable, powerful, and easy to run. They help you tackle chores without breaking the bank. Work smarter with year-end value bonanza savings at Bowling Green Tractor. Stop in today. Offers end December 31st. For commercial use only, customer participation subject to credit qualifications and CNH Industrial Capital America LLC approval. Standard terms, conditions, and other restrictions apply. Down payment may be required. Little floater after the timeout. Tampley puts it in. And it's 29-19. A 10-point lead is the biggest of the night for the... Actually, that uh, gets it down. 21 uh, 27 21. So, who had that? I, I was on the wrong uh, side. That was Ryder Hopkins. There you go. Whew. I say, Sox has come out here with a little bit of fire underneath their butt. After that timeout, coach had a few words to say, and seems to be the players have responded. Here's Dow. Things open up for him, and the reverse layup is good. He's having a great game so far, yes, offensively and defensively. Back to an eight point lead, down to 33 seconds to go in the half. Here's Twelman. Far side for Mullen. Back out to Tyler. It looks like they'll. Looking for the last shot. Play for it. Down by eight. Down to 15 seconds now. Twelman. Over to Mullen again. Back to Twelman. Gonna have to move now. It's six seconds left. Gets it to Fessler. They're not gonna get the shot off, are they? No foul, and we go to the locker room with an eight-point game. 29-21, Ellsbury leading is Silex, and we'll be back with the halftime report for you after this from KJFM and WBBA. The most complete coverage of high school sports is on Eagle 102, and it's brought to you by Mid-America Auto and Towing, Perkins Electrical Services, and Pike County Mutual Insurance. The Eagle 102 halftime report is coming up, sponsored by Cellular and Satellite Center. Ingram Plumbing has always been known for its outstanding plumbing service, but did you know that Ingram's is also the largest retail plumbing supply store in the area? We carry Delta faucets, a complete line of Whirlpool tubs and showers, jacuzzi pumps, and many other specialty items. Stop by Ingram Plumbing today, Highway 61 Bowling Green. At Pike County Memorial Hospital, we know how important athletics are for your kids, but with an active lifestyle of sports come health risk and safety hazards. As a certified athletic trainer at Pike County Memorial Hospital, I work closely with our primary care physicians, orthopedic doctors, and physical therapists. We can make a difference between safe play and dangerous injuries for your athletes. Working with Bowling Green, Clopton, and Louisiana schools, our goal is to provide the best possible outcome for your athlete. I'm Casey Sutton, certified athletic trainer with Pike County Memorial Hospital. I'm at work while your athletes are at play. 
Lynn's Heritage House isn't your average senior living facility. At Lynn's, residents have an abundance of social and recreational activities, including trips to the Twin Pike Family YMCA, numerous craft projects, and even the occasional day trip around Pike County. As a resident, you can enjoy the same independent lifestyle you've always enjoyed, but with the peace of mind knowing that help is available when needed. For more information, visit Lynn's Heritage House, 800 Kelly Lane in Louisiana, or online at lynnsheritage.com. Hi, this is Shelly Clucky with Pike County Mutual Insurance Company. We appreciate the value of working hard and making sure you've taken steps to make sure you're prepared for whatever comes your direction. Best wishes to all of our area athletes for another amazing season from myself and Corey Buchanan at Pike County Mutual Insurance Company on the square in Bowling Green. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by All Parts, Eagles Nest Inn, Bed and Breakfast, and Sun Window Company. It's now time for the Eagle 102 Halftime Report, sponsored by Cellular and Satellite Center. Mark Pronick, Stace, and Martin back here in the middle school gym. Consolation semifinals at the Clopton Invitational here in 2024. And Ellsbury with an eight-point lead on Silex, 29-21. And uh, some interesting things happened uh, in the first two quarters, Stacen. First, Ben Dow couldn't miss from uh, beyond the arc. And then uh, Silex, they, they just they, they sometimes fall asleep a little bit. Yeah, um, no surprise, I guess. But ben Dow is a little hot today. Yeah. Uh, we made the comment that they picked him up at the half court line, and so what he did, he beat the guy back door and got an easy layup. Uh, so he's always can do it inside and out. And like we made the comment, you know, Silex is kind of getting behind, and they've kind of they haven't given up, obviously, but no, they haven't been as hungry as hungry. Exactly, that's a good word, as they were to start the game. Yeah. And uh, I mean, they kept it uh, within three or five most of the uh, first quarter. In fact, they were down by five after a quarter, but uh, uh, fell behind by as many as double digits in, in the uh, second and, and now trail by eight points. And uh, it just seems like sometimes they they let uh, grudges or or being fancy outweigh what's going on on the scoreboard. and and forget about what, what's really important. It seems like uh, some possessions anyway, some of the kids from Sox says, I'm going to get mine. Mm -hmm. So he throws something up, doesn't go the way, then Ellsbury immediately responds. Do that a couple of times, you're chasing eight points like you are. And like we said during the pregame, Ellsbury has the size. And they are two bit sorry, Silex has the size. Uh -huh. I'll get used to these Missouri yeah. team names yeah, in a minute. Yeah, you're good. But Silex has the size, and they're not using it. They're too worried about shooting 15 to 25 footers instead of using advantage. You got the size, you got the height, you got the the meat on the bones per uh -huh. se. Use it. Yeah, they they've got to just you, go to the basket. Just power moves. We've when we've seen them go to the basket, it's produced results. But uh, it's just been too far and too too in between uh, so far, and they find themselves down by eight. It is 29-21, Ellsbury leading after two. And we'll come back with first half scoring after this from the Clopton Invitational on KJFM and D WBBA. Area high school sports on Eagle 102. Brought to you by Rod Prentice and Brenda Crawford, State Farm Agents, Pepsi, and Ackles Farm Market. Bib Beach Funeral Homes and Collier Funeral Homes in Bowling Green, Silex, and Louisiana are the ultimate providers of creating healing experiences in the community. We have years of experience caring for families and are dedicated to excellence in service and have the highest integrity. Bib Beach Funeral Homes and Collier Funeral Homes, offering sincere and caring service in your time of need. Are you pursuing a nursing degree? Do you want $2,000 to put towards your tuition? Of course you do. This is Tracy B. with PCHD. Our Home Care and Hospice Foundation is now accepting applications for our annual nursing scholarship. Deadline is April 12th, 2024, and the application can be found on our website at pikecountyhospice.com. Show off your Bulldog pride with the People's Bank & Trust Bulldog Debit Card. For every purchase you make using the card, People's Bank & Trust will make a donation to the Louisiana School District. Stop by any People's Bank and Trust location to get your Bulldog debit card and start supporting your school while you shop. People's Bank and Trust, hometown banking the way it should be. Member FDIC. 
With 14 stores across Missouri and Illinois, La Crosse Lumber Company provides lumber, quality products, and service to homeowners, builders, DIYers, and more. With some of the top brand names in the business available, La Crosse Lumber has what you need for your next project. Stop into any location for a free estimate before you start your next build. La Crosse Lumber Company, the oldest, most reliable lumber and hardware company in the Midwest since 1873. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by All Parts, Eagles Nest Inn, Bed and Breakfast, and Sun Window Company. Silex, the first out of the locker room. They trail Ellsbury by eight for the Owls. They have a point from Chase Mullen, two points for Ryder Hopkins, two points for Hunter Hubbard, six for Cole Fessler, and ten for Tyler Twelman. For uh, Ellsbury, they have uh, two points from Noah Wilson, two points for Davion Dotson. Three points for Matthew Jordan, six for Ezekiel Byers, and 16 for Ben Dow. He hit two threes in each quarter and uh, threw in a pair of free throws and a deuce in that second quarter to reach 16 points as Ellsbury scored 13 in the first quarter, 16 in the second quarter, and uh, Silex eight in the first quarter, 13 in the second quarter to uh, give us a 29-21 score as... Um, Ellsbury is two for four from the free throw line, and Silex is three of six. And we had a combined five in a row after we were uh, uh, scoreless from the free throw line for the first uh, quarter plus. And then, uh, you know, it got hot and then ended with a, a miss to, to end the first half. 29-21 is our score. Ellsbury finally back on the floor as well. We'll be back with the second half after this from the Clopton Invitational on KJFM and WBBA. The best coverage of high school sports on KJFM brought to you by Community State Bank of Missouri, County Market in Louisiana, and Bowling Green Pharmacy. From the classic cheesesteak and rich crab cakes, a taste of Philly in Bowling Green is a fan favorite. A meal ready for you before or after the game, and game day jerseys are welcome. Open seven days a week. A taste of Philly. Business Highway 54 West in Bowling Green. Royal Banks is your community bank with locations throughout St. Louis, St. Charles, Northeast Missouri, Granite City, and Jerseyville, Illinois. A Royal Bank branch is not far away. Royal Banks bring experienced staff and products and services designed to meet your professional and personal financial needs. Investing in our communities one client at a time. Call 314-212-1500 today. Royal Banks of Missouri, member FDIC and equal opportunity lender. It's time to visit Hayden's Motorsports Center in Frankfurt. Time to ride with Honda and Polaris ATVs, side-by-sides, and motorcycles. Time to work with steel and Husqvarna chainsaws, weed eaters, leaf blowers, and more. Hayden's Motorsports Center, just off Highway 61 North in Frankfurt. Hear all the action from the Eagle 102 broadcast booth, sponsored by Family Drug in Louisiana. Ready for the start of the second half here from... Clopton High School, actually Clopton Middle School Gym, but the Clopton Invitational here for 2024. Ellsbury leading Silex, 29-21. The winner of this one will take on the Mark Twain Tigers who defeated uh, Louisiana in the uh, Constellation semifinal from earlier, 64-40. to So and that's actually, the, the first I mean, game on Saturday. It actually looked worse than that. I, yeah, a little uh, bit. I mean, Louisiana did a good job of bringing the game back a little bit, but Mark Twain, wow, that's the first time I saw them, and I was kind of impressed. And just to maybe caught Louisiana at the right time. Louisiana is a, a team that's a, a been a little frustrated lately and a little out of sorts. So maybe uh, the Tigers just caught them on the, on the right day today and really took it to them. Really dominated both ends of the floor. Ellsbury with the ball to start the second half. Here's Davion Dotson. Dotson, ball fake to the near side. Dow going to try the three and drain the three. That's number five. Right where he left off. Mm -hmm. And the Sox coach is saying, are you kidding me? We just talked about that. <laughs> Probably talked about it uh, for about eight minutes in the locker room. Here's Twelman. Down to seven and a half to play in the third quarter. Fessler lost it, but it was off of Byers and then off the bottom of the support structure of the backboard. And I've noticed that Ben Dow is going everywhere that Tyler Twelman goes. 
You would think that would be a size mismatch. Here's Henry off the inbound. Can't get it to go in. Twelman trying to tip back again was blocked. How about a third attempt? Yeah. Finally got it to go. He's got a dozen. Well, the size mismatch is nice, but no one from Sockton wants to take it inside the paint. So, in theory, they're both 5'6". Exactly. It's the great equalizer when the big guy won't go inside. They're both small. Here's Dow with it. Puts Jordan in motion. Now gets it to Davion Dotson. Back to Jordan again. Kicked it out through Tapley. Back to Dotson. Tapley gives a pick from the free throw line. That shot's no good. And here come the Owls. Putting on the brakes was Ryder Hopkins. Now he's across the line. Changes speed again and lost it out of bounds. Back to Ellsbury with a minute 20 gone in the third quarter. Dotson across the uh, time stripe to Dow. All the way over to Jordan in the far corner. He had to reach for that pass. Gets the free throw line for Tapley. That one won't tap in. And here comes Ryder Hopkins. A little faster pace from both teams to start the third quarter here. Yeah. See how long it lasts. Fessler. He doesn't look like a guy that likes to go fast. Uh, I don't blame him. To Twelman. Twelman, baseline, floater, good. 32-25, seven-point game. 5.52 to go in the third quarter. Our final half of basketball here from the middle school gym for this 2024 Invitational. Going to make me go back to the Dale Miller Gymnasium tomorrow for ladies' championship night. Out high with it. Fessler had it tipped away and tipped away again. Now he goes to the floor hard. And a timeout taken by Silex with 5.29 to go in the third. 32-25, Ellsbury leads here in the third quarter. Back with more from the Clopton Invitational after this on KJFM and WBBA. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by All Parts, Eagles Nest Inn, Bed and Breakfast, and Sun Window Company. Bowling Green Veterinary Clinic knows that getting the best care for your pet is a top priority. They strive to provide the greatest quality medical and surgical care for our furry companions. Their newly expanded and remodeled facility with accommodations for comprehensive inpatient hospital care and complete outpatient care allows the friendly and knowledgeable staff at Bowling Green Veterinary Clinic to keep your pet healthy and safe so the whole family can cheer on our area teams. Area High School Sports on Eagle 102. Brought to you by People's Bank and Trust, State Farm Insurance, Cindy Blaylock Agent, and Bowling Green Pharmacy. Fessler for Ryder Hopkins after the timeout for Silex. 5.18 to go in the third quarter. 32-25, Ellsbury leading. Here's Twelman with it. Kickback. Fessler back to Twelman for three. Off the mark, and Dowell gets the rebound. He's on the run. Drops it off. Off the glass. No good. Put back, that is good. Jordan has five points. Matthew Jordan. Silex back across the line. Twelman never put the ball on the floor. Could have been a travel. He spun off of two guys. Back the other way, Damian Thompson in transition. All of a sudden, it's an 11-point game. That's the biggest lead of the night for the Indians. Lob pass, Henry, no good, but a foul on Tapley. His first. And so it looks like for Ellsbury's defense, Dodson and, ha and Dow, sorry about that, has switched defensive assignments of Twelman. Now that was some pretty soft contact from Ellsbury compared to possession before, but. Yeah, Henry misses the first. And back in the ball game comes Houston and Nolan Wilson. Myers takes a seat and he hits the second one. And that's the first point in a little bit for Silex. Back to a 10 point Ellsbury lead, now a steal. Hubbard got the steal, gets it to Twelman. Now for Henry, leaves it for Cole Fessler. Fessler. Gives it back to Tyler Twelman. Off-balance shot. 
And Halschen the rebound. And Dow, another off-balance shot. Hunter Hubbard gets the loose ball. Well, at least he went to the rim. Yeah. Ryder Hopkins leaves it for Cole Fessler to the near side. Now Twelman. Just cut it too fine off the glass and an easy rebound for Nolan Wilson. Wilson, kick out. How about Dotson for three? Yep, Davion Dotson. Makes it 39-26. 13 point lead for Ellsbury with 3.22 to go in the third quarter. Pretty much all Ellsbury here to start the second half. Twalman back to Fessler. Gave up his dribble. Now back to Twalman. Twelman to Ryder Hopkins. Hopkins, baseline shot, rims out. Dotson had the rebound tipped to him. Davion across the line. Leaves it, kick out, uh-oh. Another three. That one a little long. That's the first one he's missed, isn't it? Uh, second. Okay. Silex gets the ball back. Ryder Hopkins. Henry, that passed too hard, and then it's knocked out of bounds by three Ellsbury players. I don't think they knew they were surrounded by teammates. Nah, it's easy to get caught in the moment, and just, I mean, it just shows you that the three guys are going for the ball. You mm -hmm. can't complain about that at all. 229 to play in the third. Twelman to inbound, gets it to Fessler. Back to Twelman. Couple of spin moves. No, but a foul will send Tyler Twelman to the line. With 14 points. A foul was on a house gin, the third. And the first shot is good. Into the ball game, game Whelan. No comes out. 22 to play in the third. Second shot good as well. 39-28. 11 point Ellsbury lead. Dotson up top with it over to the far side now for Wilson. Wilson going to drive to the basket. No, but a foul. And that's going to be on Tyler Twelman. Basically, what they're saying now is if you're in the air, you're in the process of shooting, even though you weren't in the process of shooting at all. Yeah. Because he was getting ready to I, pass that ball. I, I disagree with that, with your statement, not with your, he was he was getting ready to pass it. <coughs> Excuse me. To pass it. And the second one made as well. I mean, he, he pump faked <laughs> and was yeah. going to pass, and that's where the contact came. And maybe just good at acting, but didn't fool us. With it is Ryder Hopkins. Free throw line, drops it in. Fessler, no, got his own rebound. And can't get it to go. That would have been a miracle shot. He's going to head to the line. Six points. And the foul is on Gabe Whelan. And the first one short. Fessler now two of three from the line. Toes it again. And that one's true. For his seventh point. 41 29. Over in the other gym, Monroe City leads Winfield 26 23 in the third. Myers shot pulled to the left. Henry picks up the loose ball. 
Gets it to Tyler Twelman. Tyler across the line. To Cole Fessler. Fessler drops it off for Chase Mullen. Mullen bothered by Nolan Wilson. Takes it inside. Kicks it back. And then Wilson gets a steal. Intercepted that Jake Henry pass. Gets the bucket and the foul. Got the crowd excited on that one. And he was shooting on that one. It went <laughs> in. And the foul goes on Jake Henry, his third. Yeah, there's no denying that he was shooting that one and made good good transition to finish to the contact and old-fashioned three-point play potential here. And the shot is good. That's five for the quarter for him. And seven in the game. Final minute of the third quarter. Ellsbury starting to pull away, and Wilson with a steal, and he puts it in again. 46-29, yeah. Ellsbury pulling away up by 17 with 49 seconds to go in the third from the Clopton Invitational on KJFM and WBBA Sports. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by Castile's Color Wheel, Pike Lincoln Technical Center, and Kearns Construction. Brown's Processing and Smokehouse Meats is your first stop when stocking your freezer. Brown's has frozen chicken, steaks, brats, and burgers ready to go. For wholesale and custom butchering, Brown's is your first call. It's where quality meets service. Brown's Processing and Smokehouse Meats. For your meat processing, smokehouse meats, and homemade sausage. Just off Highway 61 in Silex. Noah Builders in Silex, a proud supporter of all area athletes, is a small locally owned contractor with over 25 years of experience in custom and new home construction. Noah Builders wants to take your forever home plan and make it a reality. Call or visit noahbuilders.com. Follow area high school sports throughout the season on Eagle 102. Brought to you by Veolia Landscape Supply, Royal Banks, and a taste of Philly. 49 seconds to go in the third corner. And Silex with the ball. Twelman across the line with it from Fessler. Try to get a pass inside for Jake Henry. One there. Taken away by Matthew Jordan. Jordan lost control. Loose ball. Picked up by Henry. Taken back. Gets it to Byers. Yes, and a foul. Twelman going to pick up the personal. Byers. Chance for a three-point play. He's got eight. It just seems like Ellsbury is just extremely, extremely hungry for this win. And Silex just, I don't want to say going through the motions, but trying to get the win, but doesn't have much hunger into it. Yeah, they're showing their frustration here in the second half. Now down by 19. Max up. Does Chase Mullen over to the far side for Cole Fessler. Fessler gives it off to Tyler Twelman. To Ryder Hopkins. Hopkins to the center circle, down to five seconds. Need to find some room. Here's Fessler. Kick off at the buzzer. No. Twelman can't connect at the buzzer, and we go to the fourth with Ellsbury up by 19 points. 48 to 29. Black with the final quarter from the old gym after this from the Clopton Tournament on KJFM and WBBA. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by West End Cabins and Storage, Central State Bank of Illinois, and Missouri State Representative Chad Perkins. Gambino's in Louisiana is now open 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Wednesday through Saturday. Enjoy lunch options, and Gambino's dinner menu begins at 4, including the popular Make Your Own with your choice of pasta, meat, sauce, and veggie. Other entrees including lasagna, red wine pot roast, and weekly specials with a variety of beer and wine available to enjoy with your meal, Wednesday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. If it's not on the menu, we don't talk about it. The Eagle's Nest Inn Bed and Breakfast, Louisiana, offers inviting guest rooms, each with its own unique character and historic charm. It's perfect for hosting friends and family during festivals, homecoming, and the holidays that are just around the corner. Call or book online at theeaglesnestinbb.com. 
The area's best coverage of high school sports on Eagle 102 brought to you by Pike County Health Department, People's Savings Bank, and All Parts. Still a tight game over in the high school gym, 30 to 28. Monroe City is leading Winfield. After Winfield got a steal in a bucket a moment ago, here's Ryder Hopkins, and his shot's blocked. Byers ends up with it, and here comes Ellsbury on the run. Jordan, far side, and Ellsbury may want to run a little clock here. Far side, Jordan going to take the three. He's going to drain the three. Matt, Matthew Jordan has eight points. 30 seconds gone here in the fourth. Ellsbury over 50 now, and Henry gets his first bucket from the field. And it's a 20-point game. Here's another three. That one's long. Offensive rebound to Hampley. How about Dotson off the mark? Another offensive rebound. Thought about it. <laughs> I thought he was going to take it, but he's... Running the clock like they should be. Yep. Inside out now to the near side. Jordan back up top for Dow. Through Tapley. Back again. Steps to the free throw line. Shot one there. Gets it to Jordan. Floater. No good. Tip up almost went in. Another one. Another offensive rebound. And Jordan can't hit. <laughs> Finally, Ryder Hopkins ends up with the ball. And for just and lost it. Just had it taken off his hand by Byers coming back. A minute and a half gone, and a three from the far or near side corner is no good for Dotson. And here comes Hopkins one on one, and I'd say that's an offensive foul. Hopkins put the ball on his elbow and knocked over Ben Dow. Yeah, I think that was a no doubter. He, like you said, he literally put the ball in his elbow and just started taking steps towards the basket. And he wasn't going to stop. Yeah, extended the arm. Could have been caught for a travel before the foul. Dow to bring it up the floor. First foul on Ryder Hopkins. Near side. Jordan. Back up top for Dow. Over to Dotson. Skip pass to the baseline. Tapley back to Dotson. Corner. Here's the three, it's short. And the rebound picked up by Byers. No shot there, gets it back to Ben Dow. Dow gonna drive to the center of the lane, now kick it off and running the baseline, Ezekiel Byers has 10 points. 53-31, timeout on the floor, 5.37 to play in the fourth. Ellsbury in control here over Silex from the Clopton Tournament on KJFM and WBBA. Game of the Week coverage brought to you by Bib Veach and Collier Funeral Homes, Edward Jones Financial Advisor Kayla Caldwell, and Silex Banking Company. Welcome to Vast National Bank. How can I help you? Hey, I'm here to talk to someone about a loan. Oh, I'll grab you the L97B. We call it the Just Talking Form. What about actually applying for a loan? Oh my, let me pop in the toner cartridge. Hey Bill, you want to pass me the big stapler? Yeah, I'm just going to go to People's Savings Bank. Skip the mega banks. When you need a loan, visit People's Savings Bank, the people you know and trust. Member FDIC, Equal Housing. You Lender. simply can't buy a better replacement window than one from Sun Window Company. Energy efficient windows and doors with a lifetime warranty on both the window and installation. Sun Window Company, family owned and operated since 1989, offers low factory direct prices on high quality vinyl windows. Custom designed to fit perfectly and built to last. See how much you can save. Call Sun Windows, 573-549-2080 for details and a free estimate. Sun Window Company, Highway 161 in Middletown. Dow with a steal and a bucket. And this game is now 55-31 to 31 in favor of the Ellsbury Indians. 5-10 to go. And we're going to have a foul on Matthew Jordan, his first. I guess Dow 21 on the Mm. game so far. He's not too far behind from uh, Silex's total score. Yeah, right? Over in the other gym, it's now a six-point Monroe City lead. So it looks like it's going to be Clopton against Monroe City for Boys and Girls Championships. 
Drop it down, Henry off the glass. Oh, that's a nice move. Jake Henry has five points now. 55-33. Dotson back to Dowell over to the far side. Wilson drops it into Tampley, now kick back to Ben Dowell. Far side, Wilson, oh yeah, he traveled. I was wondering no. if they're gonna pick it up or not. No doubt about that. I would have raised an eyebrow if they wouldn't have called that one. 4.33 to play, 22 point Ellsbury lead. Levy back into the ball game, he's got the ball. To Twelman. Twelman. Stripped of the ball by Dow. Tampley picks it up. Back to Ben. He's across the line. And they're not going to try and run any clock. They're going to shoot another three. Put back. No good. How about another one? That one bounces in for Byers, and he's got a dozen. Rebound, rebound, rebound. Something Sox has struggled with tonight. Here's Twelman. And a little blocking foul. Oh, no, they're going to say uh, hand check there. Moving screen. Mm. Second on Levy. All I'm going to say is, hmm. That was pretty light. Yeah. I mean, especially it being a 24-point game. It happens. Down to 350, over to the far side. Dow kicks it down, that shot no good. Offensive rebound again, how about Dow for three, in and out. Hunter Hubbard the rebound this time for Silex. And it'll be Hopkins to bring it up across the line. Easton Twelman into the ball game, and Hopkins lost it off his hip out of bounds back to Ellsbury with 3.25 to play. Sox is just getting out hustled tonight. And Wilson with it. Backdoor feed. Shot wasn't there. They'll kick it out. How about a three top of the key? Yep. Ben Dow. 24. And it's 60 to 33. And a foul going to be called. And Hopkins looked like he turned an ankle. Well, he's going to stay in there. That's the second foul on Dow. Henry gets it to Levy. Far side now for Twelman. That's Easton Twelman. Gets it to Hunter Hubbard. Kick out Levy for three. Short. And Dow the rebound. To Wilson. And Wilson is fouled by a flying Ryder Hopkins. They're going to shoot two this time? I guess he went up in the air to pass. It's got to be on the floor, right? They're going to make him. They're going to have him shoot two. They really are. They are. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Jinx. I'll it's get you something, man. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> the foul was on Hopkins' is second, and the first shot is good. He's got 10 points now. Yeah, ever since you said that, I mean, that, that's that was the second or third time that's happened now? Yeah. I didn't even think he was up in the air this time, though. I, he literally stopped and pump baked. Short on the second one. Another offensive rebound by Gabe Whelan. Dowell over to the far side. Here's Reese Moore. Has it again. We need more Reese. Down to the free throw line. I like your words on play there. Yeah. Play on words. Sorry, I can't even say it. I'll just stay over here. To the near side. Here's a three. It's short. And it tipped all the way back to Dow. Ben. His run out of bounds by Jake Henry. That's his fourth. And that's the fourth foul against the Owls. So the next one will be free throws the rest of the way. 
Off the inbound, that one sneaks through. Noah Hausgen, first points tonight. And the lead is 30. Under two minutes. It's up to a nine point lead for Monroe City. Henry blocked, rebound by Whelan, and here comes Dow. How about Moore? Off the glass, it's in. Reese Moore with a tray. Uh, you gotta love it, gotta love it. I can't come off the bench. Look at the smile, time. ear to ear. Oh, he is excited, and the fans were as excited as he is. And now a steal. Housgen is fouled hard, and Henry got his money's worth out of his fifth foul. He'll finish his night with five points. And the three officials are talking about it, whether it was a flagrant foul or not. And they're going to say it was not a flagrant. I think in this game, the best to just leave Let it well go. enough. Yeah. Let it go. He's out of the ball game anyway. With a minute 26 to go, it, it's is it not a running well, clock. I was going to say, is it not running clock after 30? And Okay, all right. All right. I didn't know Mark St. Clair says, yeah, run didn't, it. Didn't know if the rules changed. No. First shot good. So he's got three points. 67-33, down to a minute 10. And the second shot good as well. 68-33. Nelsbury will play again on Saturday in the consolation game against Mark Twain. Silex. Coach Evans has seen enough of this ball game. They work it down low. Shot off the glass is good for Cole Fessler. He's got nine. 68-35. Final 36 seconds of this ball game. Got to get to the hot hand, Reese Moore, right? Yeah. Anyone else in there that need a bucket? Tampley doesn't have a bucket in this game. Whelan doesn't have a bucket. Oh, yeah, give it to Here him. Here it shoot. is. Moore oh. over to the corner for Kick Whelan. Let it roll. Back to Moore. Down I'm to 20 more, seconds. Becoming more of a fan of Reese more than the whole get, game Get it itself. more of a fan? Yeah. Reese has it again. They're just killing the final 10 seconds here with Jordan going to run it out. 68 to 35, our final. And Ellsbury moves back to the Dale Miller Gymnasium on Saturday to take on Mark Twain for consolation. Final again, 68-35, and we'll be back with the postgame for you after this from the Clompton Invitational on KJFM and WBBA. Area high school sports on Eagle 102, brought to you by Rick Rodhouse, Country Financial Agent, Noah Builders, and Central State Bank of Illinois. The Eagle 102 postgame show is coming up. Greatness doesn't happen overnight. It takes time, focus, and dedication. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that because we put in the hard work and dedication for decades. And that commitment has paid off with award-winning customer service for your auto, home, and life insurance. Ask me, Ashley Jenkins, about Shelter's auto, home, and life options. Geared Up, just off the square in Pittsfield, is your first stop for screen printing and embroidery. The folks at Geared Up take pride in making their communities and schools look great while offering the best prices around. If you're looking to expand your wardrobe or maybe a gift is on the list, stop by their store and check out numerous items in stock. When you're looking for custom apparel and awards for your business, organization, or team, stop by Geared Up, 211 South Madison in Pittsfield. State Farm in Pittsfield understands that life can be tough. The State Farm staff is there to help you make smart decisions when it comes to all your insurance and financial service needs. Call, email, text, or stop by the office Monday through Friday between 9 to 5 to talk to an agent. State Farm in Pittsfield, a family-oriented office, is located at 311 Half West Washington Street in Pittsfield, serving Pike County, Illinois, and the surrounding areas. Time now for the Eagle 102 post-game show on KJFM. 
68-35, our final. Ellsbury over Silex in the consolation semifinal, and it is over in the other gym as well. It'll be uh, Klopta against Monroe City in both championship games as uh, they beat uh, Monroe City beat Winfield 42-36. to Actually, it's not over yet. They're just in a timeout over there. But uh, it looks like uh, Monroe City is going to win and uh, get themselves into both title games. Uh, uh, tomorrow, the table is set for girls championship night, uh, starting at 445 at the pregame, then 5 o'clock Winfield, Louisiana for consolation. Then at uh, 630, Ellsbury against Silex. For third place and Clopton against Monroe City at 8 o'clock on Friday night for the uh, tournament championship. And uh, uh, Saturday will start at 12.45 with the pregame. Mark Twain against Ellsbury for consolation. Third place game uh, will be, uh, looks like Winfield and Wright City. And that will be at 2.30 and then the 4 o'clock championship. Clopton against uh, Monroe City for the tournament title. That game actually down to five-point lead, but Monroe City has the ball. Uh, final scoring numbers for this one, uh, Stason. Um, it was a, a lot from uh, Winfield or uh, from Ellsbury in this ball game from beyond the arc. Well, mainly Ben Dow. I mean, yeah. we can sum we can summarize the behind the arc of uh, Ben Dow. Now I know that Matthew Jordan kicked in a few of those at the end, and then Reese our Moore. guy Reese Moore at yeah. the end. But the grand scheme of things, you know, Ben Dow made uh, two, four, six threes. Wow. So, I mean, he had the hot hand the whole entire game. Yeah, he hit uh, four in the first half, two more, uh, one in the uh, third, one in the fourth, and uh, was perfect two for two from the line as well. He had 24 points for Ben Dow tonight. That's, that's awesome. That is a, that's a, a career-type night, uh, especially to stay in a tournament. Uh, what else we got scoring-wise? Um, on the other end, I mean, Tyler Twelman had 18, and it's 18 is a good night. Yeah, it is. But unfortunately, just overshadowed by Ben Dow. Mm -hmm. uh, full scoring numbers for uh, Silex: uh, a point for Chase Mullen, two for Ryder Hopkins, two for Hunter Hubbard, uh, five for Jake Henry, nine for Cole Fessler. Henry fouled out there in the fourth quarter for. Ellsbury, they got uh, three from Reese Moore. We mentioned him. Four for Noah Hostian. Uh, seven points for Davion Dotson. Eight for Matthew Jordan. Ten for Nolan Wilson. And 12 for Ezekiel Byers. But uh, the big night, 24 points for Ben Dow again. So that wraps it up, uh, Stason, from uh, from the middle school gym. I'm going to miss this place. I'm going to miss my my comfy chair. I'm going to miss my private bathroom. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to... Miss being able to move around a little bit here up on the stage. We'll be back in the bleachers tomorrow, back in the uh, modern comforts of the Dale Miller Gymnasium. So it should be fun. Ladies' championship tomorrow, and then Saturday afternoon, uh, uh, weather permitting. Oh, that one's down to a, a three-point Monroe one City. One-point game. Yeah, it's a one-point game. That's a, a nice little comeback. So switch on over to that one, see who's going to take on Clopton. Will it be Monroe City or Winfield? It's going to come down to the wire, it looks like in the uh, Dale Miller Gymnasium, and a chance for Winfield. They just got a uh, loose ball, and I think they are they just got fouled as well. So switch over your coverage uh, to that feed. Uh, uh, Jim and uh, Ryan have all the action for you from the Dale Miller Gymnasium, and we'll see you tomorrow for Ladies' Championship Night from this Clopton Invitational on KJFM WBBA Sports. You've been listening to Area High School Sports on KJFM, WBBA Sports. Join us year-long as we bring you the best of area sports on air at 102.1 and 97.5, online at KJFM, WBBA.com, and on the app. You can find a full recap of scores online and daily during KJFM, WBBA Sports. All from your area sports leader, KJFM and WBBA.